Well, for the final time, let me say good morning, Twin <laughs> Cities. It's Crisco, Dez, and Ryan, and today is going to be sunny. Thank goodness for that. Friday morning, March 29th. Wow. What Here we go. Day. What a day. <laughs> Already. Yeah. Oh, don't start now, <laughs> Missy. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you said good morning for the last time. I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> oh, Ooh. boy. Well, it's my last chance to wake everybody up, and uh, it's going to be a fun day. So, Crisco, Dez, and Ryan start next. After seven years of Chris Godez and Ryan at 20 with KS95, Ryan is calling it quits. In all of our years of doing this, <laughs> I think this could be the greatest phone call we've ever received. <laughs> Some kids had a hacky sack. You had grandma's prosthetic breast and uh, you yeah. played with it. See, I will always remember this day. Thank you so much. <laughs> Join us as we say bye to the Ryan of Chris Godez and Ryan. Now, now, the KS95 Morning Show. Ryan, hi, it's Kathy. I, I've i never met you, but every time I hear you on the radio, I agree with everything you say. You're just like my little twin over there. I'm going to miss everything about you, and the radio won't be the same. And I want you to know that I think it's wonderful, your unconditional love that you have with Vaughn. It's very sweet, and I wish you all the luck in the world. And maybe you should come back sometime and just say hi again to all of us. Bye, Ryan. Good luck. Ryan, we're going to miss you so much. You've meant so much to us over the years. And who is going to tell us what to watch on Netflix? And who is going to say, oh, that's so funny. And who's going to, you know, keep Crisco in line with his finances? You have brought so much joy into my life. And I just want to thank you and wish you well. Hey, Ryan, it's Ken. I just wanted to thank you for these past couple of years working with you up here. On the second level, getting me out of the dungeon from the newsroom. Yeah. Listen to you for a lot of years and getting to know you has been even better. Des and Crisco and you and me had a really good thing going, but at least there'll be three-fourths of us left. But we're going to miss the one-fourth that's not around anymore. But we hope you have a great retirement. It's hard to say that when you're only in your 40s. Uh, and I hope you and Vaughn do everything you want to do. I love you guys. Oh my God! Oh, let's go! Oh. Time to start the day. Time to get up. Maybe we should just focus on getting ready for the show. When is it? When's the big show? It's Good Friday. Oh, don't say Friday. I'll take you to church. It's Good Friday. I'm ready for the show. It'll be a good day. Good Friday. It's going to be a good day. Good Friday. Today is Good Friday. So are you having a Good Friday? Good morning. It's Good Friday. It's showtime. Yes, it is a Good Friday. Seriously, who died? Did I miss something? <laughs> yeah, right? What do we want to talk about? It feels like there's what, really not what, much to talk about today. What's going on here? What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. The text message. Messages this morning. We're in a meltdown. I know. It's from top to bottom. This has truly been uh, one of the craziest weeks, I think, in all of our lives. Oh, I yeah. I can't imagine no. what is going through Ryan's mind right now. Well, uh, a headache yeah. that I've had for three days from um, being so emotional. Uh, that That's something I didn't expect. Mm. I've, I've known you. Des has known you for 20 plus years. I've known you for almost 12 and I, I think that has truly been why this is extra crazy. Because we're always emotional. We always have that level. But I, I think just the outpouring of love from everybody that you've oh. talked to, people you don't know, uh, people in this building, uh, our amazing, amazing listeners. How can you not just feel the love right now? Oh, it's it's like nothing I've ever felt <laughs> in my life. Truly. Uh, it's it's amazing. I mean, the text coming in: mimosas, muffins, and Kleenex. <laughs> I'm up and ready for your last show, Ryan. Oh, I want to be with them this right? morning. Right? <laughs> Where are the mimosas, Dad? Yeah, jeez. Oh, they're later. No, <laughs> are they loud in here? Okay, Ryan. It's Friday. It's six a.m. and it's my day off. And instead of sleeping in, I'm up and prepared to cry. Oh. Oh. I must really, really love you. How cool is that? That is pretty awesome. I think it's just the Twin Cities in general. Everybody got up early. I didn't. Um, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with Vaughn yesterday. Um, I spent hours responding to listeners and writing emails, um, trying to figure out what to say. You know, on my last day. Yeah. You know, at nine thirty this morning. Yeah. But it was so cool to see the messages from people who are streaming us from literally all over the country on spring break. <laughs> 
There are people streaming us from Mexico. There are um, people in Florida. There are people who are off today. They don't work, but they got up to listen. They said, I set my alarm for 555. I've never seen that time in my adult <laughs> life, and I'm doing it for you. My sister is up in Arizona this morning. It's good morning. 4 a.m. in Arizona. <laughs> Uh, Grayson's still sleeping, which he is good. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> I would have something to say to Chris. She's right. like, I woke him up. He's ready to go. I know. Give uh, him a little baby Red Bull. <laughs> it is a truly um, amazing. And um, we have, I, I can't even look at my phone because yeah. the message is coming in from friends who are listening and you know who you are. It just means the world. So anyway, um, gosh, <laughs> what uh, what do we got coming up? Oh, what's man. what's happening today? It's, what do people need to know? Just a plain boring Friday. Yeah, yeah just, right. <laughs> well, nothing to celebrate. No, it's all about you today. And we've had such a, a fun week reliving so many memories and so many awesome moments of the show and you and so many people that love you. That is going to continue, but it's going to be about 500 times it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, it uh, started for me when I went to Caribou this morning and uh, I pull up to get a coffee and uh, the guy on the speaker says, uh, hey, Ryan, just pull ahead. And I'm like, I didn't place my order. Right. And uh, he has my coffee, and he extends it out the window. <laughs> oh, man. And he goes, this one's on us. And he gave me a little treat, too. Oh, <laughs> And he said, have sweet. a great last day. Here's the shocking part. I had no idea there were listeners. They've never said a word. I didn't even know that they knew who I was. And no idea. <laughs> and you go there all the time. All the time. I'm just a guy ordering a coffee at 5 in the morning, but they apparently know. And so that was really... um. Well, that started the tears. I'm like, and they go, have a great last day. I'm like, oh, jeez, no. really? Oh, come on. It's like your last day of radio school. It's amazing. You're killing me here. Oh. You know, the old uh, hard guy got broke down. Gradu- oh, graduation day is always hard, Ryan. Jeez, no kidding. <laughs> how many times on this show did we talk about how you don't break, you don't cry? Never. I mean, we've done things where we're like, yes. cry days, cry days. Welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah, right. I've never had a cry day th- that you guys talk about. Yeah, no. you've had a cry week now. Oh, it's been stupid. I am so like exhausted, like in every possible way. It does take everything out of you. Yeah, it does. But I mean, I know you've had some really sad cries, you know, because it's the end of something. But some really happy cries, hearing from people that, like you said, didn't even know. Listen. I show up at Dusty School yesterday yeah. because it's been a weird week and school was canceled on her birthday. So finally it was like her treat day and they do this beautiful like birthday circle and everybody says something about her. And um, as I'm leaving, the counselor, Miss Karen, goes, dang you, making this counselor cry on her way to work today. Oh. And I go, oh, tomorrow's going to be even worse. And yeah. she goes, yeah. oh, man. But she's like, I will be there. I'll be listening from the beginning like so many people. Oh, that's uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, getting up. On your day off or listening wherever you are in the world, it means a lot. Somebody uh, sent a message and they said, um, they said, don't be sad that it's over. Be happy that it happened. That's true. I thought that's a good one. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And I'm very happy it happened. Okay. <laughs> Me too. We're going to cover it. trending. We're going to do that in a moment. About trending. Okay. No. Um, I don't want to skip trending. You're the only trending thing today. <laughs> no, there's a lot of fun stuff to talk about. I know the twins had their home opener. They did. That yeah. was happy and sad. We got to hear what happened at the airport yesterday. Oh, they my God. Touch yes. tips. Did yeah. you hear that? <laughs> That's coming up. <laughs> Seriously, we don't touch tips at the airport, no. especially oh. when it comes to airplanes. Um, uh, we're going to do that. And apparently, uh, all of my favorite songs have been scheduled this morning. And so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, oh. Yes. Oh, gosh. It's, <laughs> it, this is so inside. Um, this was never a hit song, but I love it. And it's from Harry Styles. This is Golden. Indulge me, will you? <laughs> Maybe you'll start to love this song, too. Absolutely, buddy. It's KS95 with Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. Good morning. Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. What's trend trending? Weird things have been happening on airplanes and at airports like crazy lately. Right? I can't take it. And this time, it's in our own backyard at MSP. Yeah, and it's Delta. What? Del- Delta doesn't do this. Oh, our beloved Delta. Well, at least it was just the dip. <laughs> 
<laughs> so if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are two Delta airplanes that clipped wings yeah. yesterday. Yeah. And nobody was hurt. The planes were, you know, oh, whoops, the days, let's uh, the crash, let's back up. They were brought back to the gates, and the passengers got off the plane safely. Nobody was hurt, but uh, one plane was headed to Tucson, the other was headed to Palm Beach, Florida, and they said at that time they were doing their best to rebook people on a new airplane to get them to their final destination. Can you imagine? Oh, what a nightmare for that poor gate agent. Oh. Hey, uh, we're going to deplane and then you can rebook everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What? Did you see the guy being interviewed on the news this morning? I did. Just saying that it was like a noise and a shake Yeah. that he's never heard before. Super freaking scary. I think everybody on planes these days, they're like, is a wheel going to fall off? Is a door going to fly off? Oh. What's going to happen? You yeah. Know? I just don't know how you how you do that. How does that happen? I don't either. That poor pilot. Can you imagine the freak out feeling? Your aircraft just goes clunk. Oh, uh, ah. hit the brakes. Oh, I mean, no. I get it when I'm driving. I'm like, oh, I'm a little bigger than I think. Or like walking around. Oh, I might hit something. Like when I was pregnant, you know, yeah. like I'd hit stuff with my belly. But when you're a pilot. I'd hope you'd know the size of your wings. Yeah, no kidding. So, very scary. And just other crazy things happening, you know, in the world. Numerous storm alerts have been issued for California, Nevada, and Arizona. We're talking more heavy rain. Moving into San Francisco, Southern California was overnight. I mean, we're talking a bunch of inches of rain. And then moving into the Rockies, snow, another big storm. East Coast also being hit and flood watches. And here we are yeah. going, oh, my God, it was cold for a minute. And we got, like, some snow. Oh, my God, Mother Nature, we're mad at you. You're nutty. When is <laughs> California just going to, like, drift into the ocean? It is so freaking wet and saturated. Oh. So much rain. I know. Yeah, and, it's I mean, scary. And it, that does happen. I mean, these, these homes are, like... Sliding off. Yeah. Well, it, have you seen that one house that's literally on the cliff? Yes. Oh its structural support is almost all gone. Uh, Yeesh. Ooh, so be like, scary. Maybe you want to buy it. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. Right? I'll give you half off. Yeah. I mean, half off the cliff. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, funny. Not funny. Yeah. Um. So this is kind of, speaking of California, this is um kind of a cool story about a couple who lives in the middle of nowhere on a farm and thought a wolf had broken onto their property, but it ended up not being a wolf, Ryan. Oh. When I got up to let out chickens yesterday morning, I turned around to see what I was pretty sure was a wolf. After my heart started beating again, it was obvious it was just a timid and scared desert dog. We're way out in the sticks, and it's not uncommon for people to come out here to dump dogs. We're not sure why he broke onto our farm specifically, but I don't think he could have chose a better one. Shy and I are both pushovers for animals who need us, and we'll do whatever we can to make them happy and comfortable. So for as long as he's with us, Balto is going to get daily brushings and a lot of love and affection. Oh, a sweet husky. Balto. Yes, Balto. Balto. I mean, the perfect place for this pup to wander on to. Yeah, no kidding. Thank God. Don't you think sometimes lost pets find the right people? Mm. Like, oh, they yeah. just, there's a sense they know that they're going to be taken care of. I have a friend, Dan, who um, continues to get a certain cat that comes onto his farm <laughs> every now and then. And uh, it's it's he believes it's the reincarnation of his cat. His cat will die, and then uh, a little while later, a long, young little black kitten will just show up, and it's the same black cat with part of its tail missing. Oh my gosh, really? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Wow. And he keeps naming it Sammy <laughs> over and over again. He's had it three times now. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So they just know. Oh, yeah. They, know? they find their people. Yeah, they definitely do. They feel safe. That's what's trending. And it's brought to you by our, our podcast, which is not the Chris Godez and Ryan podcast. But My Instagram still- is sponsoring your. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yes. Rye yeah. Life. Rival Life. <laughs> Rival Life. life. Yeah. Oh, Rival. Sorry. It is Ryan and Von. You know I'm flustered this morning. Yeah. R Y V A Life. <laughs> yes. On Instagram, we are sponsoring. <laughs> um, well, Des is. Trending. We're yeah. so proud of it that we've uh, sponsored you. Oh my you. God, you've never been proud of my trending. Yep. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, I did tag you um, yesterday in some oldie but goodie pictures on Instagram. So look at mine at DezKS95. Oh, I did a deep dive. <laughs> oh, fun. I can't wait to see them. Uh, all right. We've got a lot to get to, like tickets to give away to one of my absolute favorites. Uh, you know how much I love the Goo Goo Dolls. And uh, <laughs> we're going to get you there, VIP. And I don't 
Yeah, this concert was made for you, Ryan. It's the Goo Goo Dolls, Counting Crows, The Fray, Dean Lewis, Philip Phillips, and you're going to win a pair of two-day VIP tickets to Basilica Block Party happening in August. Wow, what a lineup. It's like the concert of the summer. I mean, that is KS95 through and through. It really is. Yeah. I mean, oh, old school, new school, all of it. I love it. Yeah. Be a lot of fun. Those tickets coming up in just a moment. And we're going to talk to Movie Mom. What do we have in theaters this weekend? This week, it's Godzilla and Kong. This time, they're on the same side, and we'll see who they're fighting against. We've also got, based on a true story, underdog sports movie called The Beautiful Game with Bill Nighy. Oh, awesome. All right, Movie Mom coming up on KS95. Believe it or not, he said... All he wants to say. We are clean in house. We're getting rid of junk we don't want anymore. All of us at KS95 wish Ryan the best. I never imagined people were like that. Chris Go, Dez, and Ryan. I'm sure there's more to this than meets the eye. KS95. Hi, Ryan. It's Laura Sobiak. Just wanted to congratulate you on this next move in life and to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you did for the Sobiak family, for welcoming us into the KS95 family, and especially Zach. I'll never forget that first meeting that we had, that first interview. It was so meaningful. And our lives really changed after that. So thank you for all that you did in promoting Zach's work and helping us to raise over $4 million for osteosarcoma research. And thank you for all of the philanthropic work that you've done over the years, especially with KS95 for Kids, and how you've helped walk so many pediatric cancer families through this incredible thing of fundraising and helping us all to do that together. So thank you and congratulations and all my best as you go off into this next phase in life. Take care. Ah, thank you, Laura. Thank you, uh, Laura and Rob. And uh, boy, that that Zach, (laughs) one of the coolest people I've ever met. And not everybody knows that, I mean, it all started with you. Yeah. He wrote that song. He came in as one of our KS95 for Kids kids, and he sang that song for you. Mm -hmm. And you went, we got to do something with this. Yeah. He's special. Oh, man. Everybody at the station rallied behind Zach. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to make it special for him and and do stuff for him. He's just such a lovely human being. And I'm so glad that we uh, continue honoring him with uh, Cloud's Choir. That's awesome. Thank you. Sunny and a bit warmer today. 45 for a high temp. Hey, tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds in 43. Easter Sunday, mainly cloudy, few showers, and 46. Uh, We are at 25 degrees now. It feels like 19 at KS95. How are the roads moving? Uh, Just one thing right now. 35 southbound, a vehicle spun out, and that is between the 210th Street West exit and... uh, I mean, I, this is just sounds funny. Deuce Road in Lakeville. Is <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, really the name of it? <laughs> it's, Deuce it's literally Road. Deuce, I was like, I, I, it says Deuce Road, so I'm going to go with it. Yeah. You know that road. So there's a vehicle spun out there. Be aware of that. Other than that, the roads are looking good. <laughs> uh, first time in a long time. I'm up at 6 a.m. for your last day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I set my alarm to hear your last show. My Kleenex are ready. Oh, man. <laughs> Mine, too. Oh, I normally keep them behind me, and I'm like, what am I doing? I keep turning around and grabbing them just right beside me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this feels like a funeral. I'm so sad. I'm up and ready to listen to the whole show. I know. Seriously, I'm not dying. Thank goodness. <sighs> no, but you're leaving us, and it is a, a big goodbye. I mean, I just can't even. Some of your messages, it's like I am tapped out. It's so hard. I just love you guys so much. Thank you for making this a special last day. This is the send off anybody could ever want. I mean, the worst thing for a radio person is to leave a job and have people go, eh. Yeah. Who was that again? See ya. Like, that would be the absolute worst. But this has been beyond special. This has far exceeded my expectations. I, I did not know, honest to God, that I meant this much to you. And you have made it abundantly clear. So thank you very much. Uh, this is going to be a fun morning. We've got a lot coming up. Uh, let's first give something away to these people. Let's. They're up early, Des. <laughs> they are. They deserve this. And this is amazing because this is a VIP style to a big two-day festival this summer. It's Basilica Block Party happening August 2nd and 3rd at Boom Island Park. Goo Goo Dolls, County Crows, The Fray, and more. You will have a VIP bar, special entrance. You'll have air-conditioned bathrooms and tents and, and so much more. So fun. Yeah, really cool. The average man can only do this for 26 minutes before getting tired. Oh, boy. <laughs> So the average man, now there are, you know, exceptions to every rule. Oh, right? that's right. But the average man can only do this for 26 minutes before he has to tap out. What do you think it is? 
I have to do another bad one. guess. Yeah. I have to do yeah. one final one for yeah. you. Yeah. Jumping on a trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the average, you know all the average men that are jumping on trampolines? I had to do it. The trampers? <laughs> yeah, you know the trampers. They they get tired around 26 minutes. They can't do it anymore. Is that yeah. when you tap out, tramper? No, I love being a tramper. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's a great guess. No. 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 No, that's a great guess. Tell oh. me it was a terrible no, guess. No. I thought it was good. I, I don't think it. I could I don't think I could go twenty six minutes. Slap me. I don't <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Des? I think it's watching T V. Oh, have you seen the binging numbers? How did you and Chris go flip flop? Oh, I think you it's, normally have a great guess. Oh my god, are you kidding me? My dad sits down or even Taylor sits down, we start watching, and I swear it twenty minutes and they're like, and I'm gonna sleep. And they sleep. And maybe the hmm. binge numbers are so big because they fall asleep and it just rolls to the that next. Was a terrible rolls guess. to the next. And rolls to terrible. the next. Terrible. I mean, <laughs> right? of okay, all tramper. people of all people he said I had a good guess. Yours was trash. <laughs> okay, let's see what Pidge thinks. That was such a bad guess, Tez. You also <laughs> took my guess. So. Oh. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say driving. It driving. takes me a minute and a half to get... I get so tired yeah. for some reason driving. Yeah. Well, you're not getting, you know, 14, 15 hours of sleep every I day. I know. <laughs> me and Des were talking about that. If yeah. I can get my 16 to 17... Oh sweet God. spot. I'm good. That's my sweet spot. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Uh, the <laughs> average man can only do this for 26 minutes before he gets tired. What do you think it is? Okay, 651-989-5795. If, if you're listening this morning and you're hearing these songs, you're going, what has happened to KS95? Apparently, they have spiked in my favorite songs throughout the morning. Yeah. So here's another one. Come on, sleepyhead. Wake up. Wake me up. Wake up. Crisco, Dez, and Ryan's. Wake up and win. Okay, so the average man can only do this for 26 minutes before getting tired. What just wears these guys <laughs> out? Let's find out. Bonnie is in Jordan. What do you think it is, Bonnie? I think it's looking at social media. Oh yeah, the scrolling and scrolling. Yeah. Then you get you get scrolling thumb. Right and drowsy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Good guess, yeah. Bonnie. Not the answer though. Oh, Ryan, I'm gonna miss you. Thank you, Bonnie. I'll miss you too. I hope you follow us on Instagram. Oh, for sure. Thank I'm you. there already. Awesome. I love <laughs> it. Thank you so much. Yeah, at Riva Life. If you want to follow us, R Y V A Life. Uh, Mark is in New Hope. Hi, Mark. Hey. What do you think it is? Working on your taxes. Oh, that's awful, oh. isn't it? I just finished mine. Thank Good God. Job. What a nightmare. But it'll put you to sleep. I hey, shout out to all the CPAs out there and accountants. Right. I don't know how you do it. I would truly doze off. Same. Yeah. Yeah. And then dreaming of numbers, you'd wake up in the middle of the night. Ten forty W two. That could be awful, wouldn't it? Uh let's go to Kim. She's in Glencoe. Hi, Kim. Hi. What's your guess? It was shoveling snow. Shoveling snow. 26 minutes of that heavy slush. That'll wear your back out. Dang. Dang. That's not it, Kim, but a good guess. Especially this time of year. Thank you. Uh, Christine in Elk River. What do you think it is? Shopping. Shopping. That's it. 26 (laughs) minutes and they're tapped out. Yes. You got to make it quick. You know, you got to get in and out. Otherwise, your guy is going to, he's just going to lose interest. I'm surprised they last that long. Yeah, right. <laughs> totally. Hey, good news. You're going to see my favorite, the Goo Goo Dolls. All right. Thank you so much. You bet. <laughs> and you're going VIP style to the Basilica Block Party, August 2nd and 3rd at Boom Island Park. Goo Goo Dolls, Counting Crows, The Fray, Dean Lewis, Philip Phillips, and more. And this VIP thing, you're going to be right up front. You've got a special door to go in. VIP bar. I mean, exclusive VIP air-conditioned tent and bathrooms. It's awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have fun at the show. I'll tell you, Philip Phillips, I want to see him. I think he'd be amazing. I love his voice. Yeah, we did like a little mini Live 95 type thing with him, and he was so good. He's Uber, and he was even sick then. He had a cold, and he still sounded great. I had a photo with him, and people said, why does it look like you two are dating? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I I mean, I don't know. know. Just standing here, but I guess he's quite cute, too. Rather close. (laughs) Yeah, right. Okay, let's do uh, Teacher of the Week which is brought to you by the School of Education at the University of St. Thomas. Uh, this is an awesome entry for uh, Mrs. Scow. She's at Wellstone Elementary in St. Paul. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I am good. How are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful. I'm uh, excited for you because we get to recognize you for being an amazing teacher. They say that you're kind, patient, and enthusiastic about science. The school is lucky to have you. Wow. You make learning fun for these kids. Thank you. I hope so, because the study of science is fun. They love it. 
Well, especially when you record chicken eggs in an incubator until they hatch. All oh, the kids love that. The uh, countdown, the 21 days, they jump out of their skin. Oh, it's nine days to go. Yes, it's very exciting. Well, she says uh, the, the kids loved watching the chicks hatch in person and waited for caterpillars to turn into butterflies. I mean, what gets you excited about doing this? It's their excitement, actually. They see things outside. They see things change. They, well, like the caterpillars and the eggs and the chickens. But they also get excited. Most of my students are four years old, and rocks and clouds and everything excite them. Well, I have to say, I have a four-year-old, and he has never come home and taught me a science experiment like this parent said their four-year-old did. You're obviously doing something right. It's all about families, too. They buy in, and they get, they get excited, and we couldn't do it without fabulous families. People we want to celebrate right now are teachers like you, and we are calling to let you know you have been named our KS95 Teacher of the Week. Thank you. How exciting. Yeah. So deserving. Congratulations. Well, that goes to all my colleagues here and at school because we work together. We're quite a team. I work at Wellstone Elementary, and we're just a fabulous group of teachers, I think. Sounds like an awesome school, and they're happy you're a part of it. Thank you for uh, everything you do. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, what a sweet lady. It's 646 Friday morning at KS95. And in theaters, something Chris goes very excited about. Oh, anytime you put Godzilla and Kong together (laughs) individually, they're great. Together, they're unstoppable. But are they? I don't know. I guess, spoiler alert, I'm guessing they are. (laughs) We'll find out. This is our only chance. We have to take it. We need Kong. The world needs him. To stop what's coming. This child. She's the only one he'll communicate with. It's Godzilla. These are dangerous times. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. Kong bows to no one. There you go. Okay, movie mom. What do we think of this one? Well, if you like monsters, I think you're going to like it. If you're a fan of Godzilla or a fan of King Kong, you know, I'm a primate, so I kind of, I'm on Kong's side on this one. But yeah. (laughs) Um, So yeah, it's called Godzilla Kong. You're not supposed to pronounce the X, the new empire. And uh, basically, we, we don't call them monsters. Their pronouns are Titan. Okay, we call them Titans. So the Titans, uh, when the movie begins, Godzilla is sort of handling things on Earth, uh, sleeping in Rome inside the Colosseum like a dog bed. He gets all curled up and cute. But if other Titans attack, he protects the humans. And Kong is sort of on his own uh, down in what they call the hollow earth underneath. And you know the whole movie is going to be about the two of them getting together and uh, kicking some butt from a lot of other titans. It's almost like Pokemons now. You've got to remember which one is the sky, which one's in the water, which one breathes fire, which one breathes <laughs> ice, which one breathes atomic radiation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we're just there to see the, the monsters attack each other. And, and the, sites, the fight scenes are pretty good. But I will tell you my favorite scene in the movie Dan Stevens joins the cast. He was in the first uh, season of Downton Abbey. Love him. He plays, are you ready, a veterinarian for the Titans. Of course, they're going to need a veterinarian. And when King Kong has an infected tooth, we all know that's a very sad, scary, painful thing. (laughs) He has to rappel down from a helicopter to yank out King Kong's gigantic tooth, which is bigger than he is. And I love that scene. I thought that was a lot of fun. Oh, man. Wow. I hope they save the film prop on that. <laughs> Kong's no, tooth. That should sure go in a museum. Did. Yeah. I'm sure they did. And you do not need to say into the credits there are no extra scenes. But I'm sure we'll get another movie. Ah, good heads up on that one. Uh, is there anything that's going to try to compete with that this weekend? Yeah, a disappointing movie for me because I like director Luc Besson. He did The Fifth Element. He's always interesting. This one didn't work for me. It's called Dog Man. And it's about a man who, when he was a child, was terribly terribly abused by his father, was locked in a cage with dogs, but he developed kind of a psychic link with the dogs. So when he grows up, he's a very damaged person, but he can sort of deploy the dogs to go after anybody who's a bad guy. That's basically the movie. (laughs) I didn't think it was so good. Okay, my favorite movie of the week is on Netflix. It's called The Beautiful Game, and it's based on an amazing true story. Uh, Apparently there is such a thing as the Homeless World Cup, an international sports competition playing soccer, all homeless people, and you think it's just your typical sort of underdog sports movie, but first of all, Bill Nye is the coach. We're always happy to see Bill Nye. 
And second, it's about so much more than just the game. And the characters are all so interesting. It's so touching. It's all based on real stories that has happened in the 20 years since this competition has been going. I loved it. Great musical choices. It's a beautiful game. We also have Ewan McGregor streaming in A Gentleman in Moscow based on the bestseller about a man who was confined by the Russian government to a hotel for decades and about the adventures and the characters that he came across there. And then, very exciting, a two-part documentary about Steve Martin, one of the most interesting uh, performers in the world. We forget kind of about his early days of Wild and Crazy Guy and Excuse Me and about all the transformations he's had since then. Extraordinary career. He's a thoughtful guy. Next week, probably the most violent film of the year is coming. It's called Monkey Men with Dev Patel. And also a time travel love story. I think you guys are going to love this because what creates the time travel is listening to a song. And isn't that what really brings us back in time? Oh, so yes. true. Great. Oh, I love yeah. that idea for yeah. the movie. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about next week. You have been my movie mom for 14 years. And over uh, the last uh, 14 years, I have grown to love and respect the heck out of you. You are my favorite film critic, and I'm going to miss talking to you every Friday. So thank you for being on the show with me. I love you so much. You can call me anytime you want a movie recommendation. <laughs> Please stay in touch with me. It has been a great, great joy, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Movie Mom. Have a great weekend. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. It's 651 at KS95 with Chris Codes and Ryan. Um, wow. Chris Goes Hit or a Miss was the biggest hit <laughs> they have ever had Yay. yesterday. And it was a song about me. <laughs> yep. How does that work? If you missed the song, you'll have to hear it. It's awesome. Next on KS95. Oh, that's some classic KS95 right there. Brings me back to when I started here in 2003. Man, Rob Thomas and, and Matchbox 20, all the rage, weren't they? They were. They were the biggest thing ever. And it was back in the day when artists would stop by and anytime. They were in the house or Rob Thomas was here. We did anything with them. Was he not the nicest man on earth? Absolutely. And continues to be the nicest man ever. He held yep. the door for me. I was walking <laughs> into the building. He was walking out and he goes, oh, let me get that. And he stands and he holds the door open for me to come in. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, he goes, oh, hi, I'm Rob. And I'm like, no, I know who you are. <laughs> but that is what makes somebody special. Yeah. yeah. Like to nice not guy. sit there and go. Don't even know who I am. <laughs> and there are plenty of people out there like that. Then he was digging in his pocket and he dropped his joint on the floor. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, Rob, you, you dropped a. It, the, oh, 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 let me get that. He's like, that's the real world right there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Uh, thank you to everyone who's uh, tuned in this morning um, for my last day at KS95. Someone said, I am listening from Greece. There is no way I am missing Ryan's last day. Wow. I am in bed with the flu and had to wake up just to hear your last show, Ryan. Love you guys. Oh. Seriously. Oh, my gosh. I mean, come on. This is just too much, you guys. You're too much. Uh, I'm up and listening to Ryan's last show. Today's my day off, and I get to listen to the whole thing start to finish. I'm so sad you're leaving, but I'm happy for you, too. Best wishes and everything. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely should have skipped makeup today. Love yep. you, Ryan. <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, I want to look presentable. You know, I've got, you know, I normally look like a hot mess every day. I put on a tiny bit of mascara. It's already gone. <laughs> it's not even been an hour. Oh, already man. gone. Well, um, <laughs> if you're putting makeup on, don't do it right now because uh, this will this will definitely pull at the heartstrings. This is the sweetest song uh, you guys have ever done. You're so good. You know that. The three of you are so good at these songs. And I'm so glad that um, you know businesses get to have a song written about them because it helps them so much. And you decided to do this week a song about me for Chris Goes Hit or a Miss. Yep. And uh, it was the highest rated song you've ever written. Yeah. How awesome is that? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad that, I mean, I'm just so glad you liked it. Oh, I love it. It will be, you know, because I was thinking about this, like, what do I want to listen to as I pull out of the parking lot here at Hubbard? Yeah. And um, this is the perfect song, you know, to listen to as I drive away. So Our love song to yep. you. <laughs> Fire up the old lady car and uh, <laughs> head on down University <laughs> Avenue. So this is very, very cool. Thank you for this song. Thank you for being a friend 21 years old when you began The time just flew And now our pal is moving on We can honestly say We had chemistry from our first day 
Now you're signing off. Who helped make fun of Chris? Go now. You always made this party with the funnies on your left. You lose. Definitely the biggest gift to the cities and the voice that starts our day. Thank you for being a friend. We are lucky, aren't we? That you taught us everything you knew. You will see that we would be the three that are proud to stand and say thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being <laughs> my friend. <laughs> thank you for being our friend. Love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Classic pitch. <laughs> Classic no. pitch. We're looking at him like, dude, we planned this. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> Do the thing. Seriously. <laughs> Luckiest guy ever. To have friends like you that would do a song like that. That is just so awesome. <laughs> And more fun music that I just love. This is really, uh, what a day. <laughs> what a day to be me. Seriously, I love this music, yeah. too. It takes me all back. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Des, tell us what's trending next. All right, I've got another update on Diddy. Holy moly, I think is so much bigger than anybody thought. And then something happened after 138 years for Puxatani Phil. Yeah. It's next on KS95. Chris Go, Des, and Ryan in the morning. On 94.5. KS95. KSTP FM and HD1. St. Paul, Minneapolis. Did you hear that? Chris Go, Des, and Ryan. This is a thrilling moment in all of our lives. KS95. This is Dr. Owen O'Neill, and I first met Ryan in my office at Twin Cities Orthopedics and candidly had no idea what he did for a living and had never heard him on the radio. As many of you know, we helped him recover from years of hip arthritis. During his recovery, Ryan came up with a novel idea in the use of cold therapy to speed the recovery from joint surgery. Ryan has gone from patient to friend to colleague in a new venture to help those recover from surgery. As I've had the pleasure to spend time with Ryan, I've been struck by his enthusiasm for all things in life except, of course, apparently, Chris Stapleton's Super Bowl song, and his incredible generosity and charity, helping those less fortunate. I want to congratulate Ryan and his husband, Vaughn, as they continue to pursue the great things life has to offer us. Oh, Dr. (laughs) O'Neill. What a great guy. He's the best. That guy gave me my life back. He did. Not once, but twice. And he is a wonderful friend and we're going to celebrate Easter together. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm very very lucky to know him and I am so excited for our um our innovation. We're going to have that in the hands of patients this year. Oh, After gosh. working for 3 years to develop this idea, we're doing clinical trials and it's going to be in the hands of patients and hopefully help people <laughs> who suffer with horrible chronic pain like I did for many years to help get rid of it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's such a great idea. I mean, I remember it's so cool. I know Crisco said this for us to be on this side to watch you have this idea that you've worked now so hard on and then watch it happen. Yeah. I mean, so many people have an idea, but they don't see it through. And this is so typical Ryan that you did. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations. It's really amazing. Thank you. Well, uh, Dr. O'Neill's son, Kevin is our, our mechanical engineer on the project. Yeah. And this Saturday, Tomorrow, he's bringing the final prototype <gasps> to Minneapolis, and I get to see it tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. How cool. God yeah. dang, this is yeah. a big week for you. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> so can't wait for that. All right, here we go. Ken Barlow has a forecast. Good morning, Ken. And not emotional at all. Not at all. <laughs> oh. Good morning, guys. Right. Uh, temperature today is starting out better, about 10 degrees warmer. It's 28 degrees right now. Yesterday at this time, it was 18, so we're off to a better start. Partial sun today. Highs around 45. Tomorrow, 45 with partial sun. Just a shower or two on Easter. No washouts and 44. Awesome. Forecast is brought to you by Walzer Honda.
traffic right now. Just one thing, 35W southbound debris on the roadway at Richfield, uh, and it's at West 76th Street, so be aware of that slowing things down. Other than that, the roads are looking good. Traffic brought to you by Riva Life at Riva Life on Instagram, R Y V A Life at Instagram. You can follow Ryan and all of his life adventures. I mean, he's only creating things that are going to help the world for the rest of it. So. Okay, I have to say this. Did you see the post Hutch made yesterday? No. no. He encouraged his followers to oh. follow me. Hashtag beat Hutch. Oh, and and I, I had to send him a message and I said, okay, you, sir, don't get to do this. Oh. I'm the one who gets to tease you and, and poke you. I said, I wanted to give you something uh, to be able to complain about on Monday when you get back. That damn Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is pretty awesome. That's pretty sweet. So thank you to Hutch for that awesome, awesome message. And uh, I know he can't be here because he's he's a Disney dad this week. He is. He's yep. with his kiddos enjoying yep. spring break. But he's been in touch, and it's been really awesome talking to him. So, And I've never said that before. No, you have not. That's <laughs> but it has been. <laughs> your last day. Yeah, it's been really, really sweet. All right, let's do this. Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. What's trend trending? Okay, there is just a lot going on. I'm going to start with uh, an update on the the bridge in Baltimore that went down Tuesday morning. Um, it just sees different stories coming out. One person that was on the bridge said they heard a first responder calling out, move quickly, move quickly, and it saved their life. Wow. I mean, yeah, and then I saw yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, some of these first responders that did save lives were honored at a baseball game, which was really, really cool. But um, they believe six construction workers fell into the icy cold water. They have retrieved two bodies, but they believe four are still missing. Oh. So, I mean, they're going to continue that when they can, and they're going to do everything. I mean, they're talking about reopening the port. I mean, they're just trying to do everything they can, and they want to do it as quickly as they can. So, update there. And then another update on Diddy. Subpoenas have now gone out to a bunch of different companies that have worked with Diddy in the past. Uh-oh. Uh, He's like the new Epstein. <sighs> yeah. You Honestly. don't want an association with Diddy at all. Oh. I mean, people's interviews are coming out from old and it is making it ten times worse. Oh my gosh, so many people. Even people like Kanye. I mean, there's a list of names of people going, yeah, he invited me to parties all the time and guess what? I never went. Or some people that he worked with would say, I'd go early, say hi, and there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Like, people knew something was going on. Didn't want to associate with them. Um, one of the main things they're looking into is the, uh, like, company that he had these private jets with. They're looking at records. Who was on there? Were, was he, in fact, sex trafficking? It's just horrible. And then did you see the other thing that's grossed me out so bad? When they um, raided his homes... In almost every room, they had tiny little cameras oh. that were like the size of a Lego, they oh, said. That's so sad. Oh, my God. It, it's so disgusting. What a, You know, to, to work your whole career, to build up your name and all that, to just mm. lose it all because of this. It's just awful. Oh, oh. it's terrible. But then this is kind of cool. We uh, congra- can congratulate a new dad. And I always say this wrong. Punxsutawney Phil. Yeah. <gasps> Nailed it. After 138 years, he and his wife, Phyllis. <laughs> I don't mean I don't know if they're officially married, but he and his partner, they become new parents. Punxsutawney Phil has had his first children. Uh, when we came in to feed Phil, to give him his fresh fruits and vegetables, the handler noticed uh, a couple little uh, little groundhogs underneath Phyllis. Him and Phyllis did not let us know that they were expecting. It was a total surprise for everybody involved. Phil, you dirty dog. Ooh. Boy, <laughs> this winter, someone's been busy. Real I mean, busy. whoa. <laughs> no wonder you didn't have time to do your whole shadow thing. He's like, I'm busy, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love it that they keep saying, oh, they kept the pregnancy quiet. Oh, Oh. did they? They didn't want the old uh, groundhog, like, little cameras. Yeah, the groundhog gazette coming and taking pictures of them. Mm -mm. So congratulations to them. Two new babies. Nice. (laughs) That's what's trending. And it's brought to you by Rival Life on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) How many followers do we have? I haven't even looked. I will tell you right now because I'm obsessed with it. Uh, Right now you are at 7,894. Oh, Dang. cool. That's awesome. Thank you guys for following. I can't wait to start posting on the on the gram. The gram. I never yeah. thought I'd hear that, Ryan. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be big on the gram. Oh. Yeah, we're going to do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Rival Life. 
Let's do this. Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Chris Cordes and Ryan's One Call. Okay, my last one call. Caller 833 today. It's fitting. I would like to know if there's someone um, doing what I'm doing or has done it. So is there somebody who gave up a really good thing to go chase their dream? Um, I don't know if there's anybody who's uh, been bold enough to do this. I'm sure there have, and, and, and they're probably very successful not listening right now. <laughs> right, they're like, I get to sleep in because yeah. I did it. <laughs> um, leaving this job has been so incredibly difficult because it's, uh, it's my family, and I grew up here. And to walk away from this show is, um, it's not easy. It's not easy. But I have to see if there's an act two in there. And I want to see if there's a, a chance to do something else exciting and big and cool. You know, I've, I've done all I can do here. I wanted to win a Marconi Award. I won two of them. Yes, you did. I wanted to win um, other awards. We won two Service to America Awards. Uh, we won an Emmy. We've, yes. we've had number one ratings in the morning. Um, I feel like I've done what I set out to do here. You succeeded. And I'm leaving this show better than how I found it. And so that's a good thing. So now I'm going to move on. And um, the Eagle Scout's going to go somewhere else and try and do something and <laughs> make something else better. We're going to do that in this uh, cold therapy device with Dr. O'Neill. Oh, how cool is that? I'm excited for that. But uh, I'd love to hear your story. If you gave up a good thing, maybe you had a really good job and you went, you know what? I want to I want to try something different. I want to hear how it played out for you. And maybe it didn't play out. You can go, Ryan, don't <laughs> go. <laughs> back up, back up. <laughs> right? Um if you have that story, I'd really appreciate that. 651-989-5795. Uh, one call brought to you by Ovo LASIK and Lens. One call to Dr. Lobanoff and Dr. Whiting can change your vision. And uh, I, I just have to say real quick before I play this next song, because they've been putting in all of my favorite <laughs> songs throughout the morning. Uh, thank you to Excel Energy Center for giving me the uh, owner's suite for the Eagle Show. Oh, how cool is that? Um, that was unfreaking believable. Mm -hmm. Crisco and I had an opportunity to be in there for the second night. I'm a newcomer to the Eagles. <laughs> you are. Which is crazy, but I absolutely love their music. And I got to share that suite with Dan Stoltz and his wife, Robin, from Spire, now now Blaze. Yep. Uh, Dr. O'Neill and his wife. Uh, my friends, Vic and Lisa and Jody and Mike. Our friends, uh, Doug and Teresa from Storm Creek and Egan. Yes. Who are absolutely amazing people. And uh, we got to watch the Eagles. And uh, boy, are they all fans. Oh, my gosh. Huge fans. And so here we go. This was a fun, probably top five greatest concert ever. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. I know Des was there the first night. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, let's all take it easy. It's KS95. Oh, man. When's the last time that was played? Nap and Donuts? <laughs> oh, yeah. When it was a number one hit. That's right. <laughs> Probably. <Whoa. laughs> oh, man. The, the Napper was playing that a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, so one call. Here we go. One call from someone who gave up a really good thing to go chase their dream. We'll see if there's somebody else who did this like me. Uh, Kathleen is in Apple Valley. Hi, Kathleen. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Imagine Nap and Donuts. And that's when I, they were on when I first started listening in 1979. Isn't that <laughs> something? Wow. Here we are all these years later, Kathleen. What did you leave? What job did you leave? I was a clinical laboratory scientist for 20 years, and then I got the chance to go back to school and become a veterinarian. And we met in 2022 at Storm Creek um, with my two large scrub tops, and that was exciting. I first heard you, Ryan, on, uh, on my late night home drive on your Riddling Ryan um, when I first started my career, which started in two 2003, same year you started there at the station. So oh, it's kind of bizarre. No kidding. Wow, we've been really connected. Uh, and and yes. so you became a, a vet? Yes, yes. And that was my dream. But when I met my husband, I said, it's too hard of a, a job, at least back then, to raise a family. I said, well, you know, I want the family more than I wanted this. And then um, I had, been, had a resume in at the Minnesota Zoo, to become, um, to see about joining them. If as their vet. Because my first, well, no, as my first degree in zoology and then with the oh lab. Oh, my. So, so they. Um, well, tell me this, and this is the big question, you know, to, to leave a job you love and to go chase a dream, was it worthwhile? Do you regret it at all? Oh, yes. I have such a, um, a clientele that they're like family to me and all their pets are just so wonderful. Oh, good. And I'm, I'm the 
supposedly trying to retire, but it's very hard to leave them. So. Oh, I bet I can't imagine all, oh. all those all those animals every day. Oh, and helping them it just I must know. feel so good. Oh wow! Thank you for being my uh, last one call, Kathleen. It's uh, really cool to talk to you. Thank you so much. And I live in Apple Valley. I was always hoping to run into you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might find him in Egan these days. <laughs> yeah, or, or Apple Valley. I still go down there. Thank you, Kathleen. Appreciate it. Call her eight thirty three. All right. Um, so there's, I see a special surprise message on yes. the screen. Yes. Yep. Yep. So, yep. yep. Somebody special that um, we've been trying to lock down for a while and it finally happened. It did. And this is somebody near and dear to your heart. Oh boy. Somebody that you have worked with. I can't cry anymore. Multiple <laughs> times. And somebody that the state of Minnesota knows very well. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and play it. Hello, Ryan. Hello, listeners. This is Senator Amy Klobuchar wishing a hearty congratulations to you, Ryan, on your incredible 21-year career at KS95. I feel like it's just yesterday that I was listening to you as I was uh, in the Twin Cities, as we were raising our daughter, all kinds of things, always have you on on the radio. From your time as the afternoon producer for Moon and Stacy to working your way up and hosting your own show with Crisco and Dez, you have become a fixture at KS95. I know what you also have done for our community and how much that means. You've dedicated your time to philanthropy and giving back to the community. From the walk to end hunger at the Mall of America, how much fun do we have doing that every Thanksgiving? Please promise me you're still going to come back as I get my daughter out of bed at, you know, six in the morning to do that. You need to be there with your cheery voice. Uh, to the work you've done raising money for charities like Gillette Children's and Masonic Children's Hospital. We are all going to miss hearing your voice on the air, Ryan, but somehow I don't think you'll be too far away. I wish you best in all you do. Thanks for giving us the gift of your voice, the gift of your contributions to the community, and the gift of everything you shared with us on the radio. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. You don't get to say that very often. No. I mean, come on. I'll tell you, when she was a... a, a Young senator, she showed up every summer for a trash cleanup at the Minnehaha Creek. I got to do that event with my one of my absolute favorite people, Mary O'Neill, who's no longer with us. Yep, heart of gold, one of the best people I've ever worked with, and uh, that was a passion project. And the senator would show up, and she would ju- she would judge all of the different items that we pulled out of the Minnehaha Creek <laughs> to determine who wins the prize. And we'd pull like. Tires and uh, rakes and trikes and the weirdest <laughs> stuff. And so she would judge the trash. I mean, she's a senator. She doesn't have to do that. No, she has. I mean, she is somebody who has made a difference and will continue to make yeah. a difference. And she'll always do things like that. Yeah, she's incredible. That's very, very nice. Thank you. Um, whew, okay. Oh, no. We have a three song showdown to get to. Let's do that. And uh, apparently a look back at the last however many years. Yes, it's, okay. it's something special. Can't wait to hear that as uh, we put an end to this. Finally. No. I, no. I did not want the long Minnesota goodbye, but I'll tell you, it's felt like it. You I, got I, one. Oh, jeez. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? If we do like a week, week and a half, that's enough. And it's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> there are so many stories and so many things to revisit. We yeah. had to take the, the right amount of time. All right, we'll do it next. Believe it or not, he said... All he wants to say. Our boss has asked to be deleted. We are not that entertaining to him. No. No. He said he'd rather listen to the sounds of his tires (laughs) driving on the pavement than listen to us. All of us at KS95 wish Ryan the best. I want you to tell me who you are. Chris Gotez and Ryan. What is wrong with you people? KS95. Wow, Ryan. Almost 21 years on the air. That's amazing. I remember moving back to the Twin Cities after college around the time you started at the station, and one of my favorite things was your lion, Ryan, when you were on night. I think I'll probably miss all of your goofy impersonations, whether it's, you know, your curb your enthusiasm or your, you know, stereotypical gay man voice or that, that German that comes out every so often. I wish you the best in the rest of your endeavors, and... Uh, you'll be truly missed. Oh, she likes the German. Is that right? <laughs> she knows what she's a woman who knows what she likes. She does. What happened? I don't know. My 
microphone's not working. Oh, you know why? Okay. Typical KS95. On my last day, we would have malfunctions and technical issues. And so uh, I have to turn everything off briefly to reset this after it's been reset. So one moment. And we're back. Oh, and we're back. Yeah, you did it. We should be able to hear everybody now. I thought you finally got your wish. I know. Shutting me and death up. I'm like, oh, we got oh. his last day wish. Uh, mine's working too. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Um, it, it wouldn't be my last day if we didn't have one snafu. It's nope. probably the spirit of Moon just messing with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, he's probably just pressing buttons. You know, there you go, Ryan guy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good one. <laughs> All right. Ken Barlow's here with a forecast from 5 Eyewitness News. Yeah, not too bad out there. Partial sunshine today. It's warmer already by 10 degrees. And it was yesterday morning at this time. It'll be about 10 degrees warmer this afternoon, too. 45 the high. Mixed clouds and sun. A sprinkle's possible. Tomorrow, 45 and then 44. Just a passing shower in Easter. And a shout out to Ken's wife, Teresa. <laughs> and for Ken, for giving me the coolest shirt. I'm here for some guy named Joe. And it's yeah. a Joe Burrow shirt and, and Joe Burrow uh, Bengal socks. I will proudly wear them this season. <laughs> Those uh, are so great. It's his year to be MVP, and uh, this will be the good luck charm. I think you should sit around on the couch with just the shirt and socks. Yeah. And, oh. then, and then post it really on your like new it. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly can I get banned from Instagram? <laughs> wow. Oh. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome. That's really cool. Forecast brought to you by the Spring Parade of Homes. Traffic is uh, not too bad. Bad right now, Highway 100 southbound. We have a crash at 394 in Cedar Lake Road in St. Louis Park, and that is really the only spot we have slowing things down. Other than that, the roads are looking good. Traffic brought to you by Royal Credit Union. Save smarter with Royal Credit Union's 5.10% annual percentage yield 13 month certificate. Royal certificates have no minimum opening balance and a locked in rate for a guaranteed return on your investment. Open at any office or online at rcu.org. Um, if you're not getting a reply on text, just know that there there are more texts than I think we've ever had. Agreed. And um, I am taking every single text you've sent in with me. I have them all copied and saved, and I'm going to read them later. Um, I'm getting through as many as I can, but I just absolutely love your sentiments, your messages, your your comments, your your kind words. Thank you. Thank you. They're not lost on me. I appreciate this more than you know. So um, thank you for texting, <laughs> but I can't respond. It is really hard to get through this, and I am... Mm-hmm. I am doing my best. You are so doing are. great. I am doing the best I can. So this is going to be hard. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, looking back at your career is never easy. But um, when you've had such a fun career, it should be a lot of fun. And that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a lot of fun to look back at, um, well, 20 plus years at this place. Yeah. And thank you to Jim. Hashtag fire Jim. <laughs> who put a lot of work into this. He, he did. did. He, he did. did. It, it was uh, we we. Came up with the idea for this song and and thought it would mean the most to you. Um, and this is just kind of a recap of this this never ending week for you. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. so this we t- uh, Jim did a lot of work on this. So thank you, Jim. And Here it's we go. a song that is special to you and Vaughn. And it's a song that whenever we hear, forever and always, it will remind us of you. Uh, after nearly twenty one years at KS ninety five, I have decided it's time to move on. None of this would be possible. If you didn't make the choice to turn on Chris Codes and Ryan every morning, because you've made us a permanent part of your morning routine, we get to have a job every day. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for that. You know, Ryan, I'm really happy for you. But if this is a love them or list them, I'd say this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I could have my Bartles and James in peace, have a wine cooler and do puzzles. Somewhere over the rainbow. We are so grody. Yes. This is officially a waste of energy to broadcast this through a transmitter. I will be very excited to sleep in for the first time in a long time. I'm about to start selling booty picks to make ends meet. Wake up where the clouds are far behind. 
Uh, that ought to be a real butt guster. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Boy, I had myself a butt guster. Oh, my God. We <laughs> will trouble milks like lemon drops. High above the chimney top, that's where... I get nauseous just thinking about it. You find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Stop, <Okay>. don't... <laughs> okay. Right, don't! Stop. Don't what? You know what? Stop. Stop it! I'm going to tickle them. <laughs> Are you good? Don't, no, don't. Bluebirds fly. I'm a woman and I sweat like a man. I woke up this morning and everything suddenly got better when uh, I found out my nephew was born overnight. Yeah. Say, I love you, Uncle Ryan. <laughs> Say, congratulations, Uncle Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, it is Barbara over at Gillette Children's. Thank you for years of service you have given to Gillette Children's mission. This is Carl Deemer from Atomic K Records and Productions. Ryan, I met you when we were planning for the very first Clouds Choir in honor of Zach Sobiak. There will always be a place on that stage for you. Hi, Ryan. It's Laura Sobiak. Just wanted to congratulate you on this next move in life and to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you did for the Sobiak family. Hey, Ryan. It's Dave. Congratulations, buddy. You made it. Enjoy yourself. Have a great time. We're going to miss you, buddy. I'm going to miss you. Hi, Ryan. It's me, Megan Wagner. I'm the Clouds Choir Ambassador from this past year. I just wanted to say thank you for helping childhood cancer research. Hi, Ryan. This is Don Shelby. Hate to see you go, brother. We will miss you. The Twin Cities has produced some of the best radio personalities in the history of the medium, and I count you as one of them. Hey, Ryan. It's Ken. I just wanted to thank you for these past couple of years working with you up here on the second level, getting me out of the dungeon from the newsroom. Mr. Ryan, if you don't recognize this croaky voice, it's your mother-in-law. You brought many smiles and giggles from Greg and I when we listened to you, especially when you spoke about some of our adventures together. Wishing you all the best in your new venture. Someday I wish upon a star, wake up with the clouds are far behind. I've been listening to you since you started with your Lion Ryan. I've listened to you at night when I worked and tried to win tickets from you. Hi, Ryan. I want to tell you I have woke up with you for years, and you make me laugh every day, and you will be very missed. This is Stacy from Wisconsin. I'm so very sorry to hear that you're leaving. I'm going to miss all your wisdom, your wit, but the one thing that I'm going to really miss the most, Ryan, is that German accent. My name is Brittany, and I am calling to wish you a, a farewell and just let you know the impact that you've had on me over the years. I've just always enjoyed listening, and you're you're my absolute favorite. Ryan, we are going to miss you so much. You've meant so much to us over the years. Who is going to tell us what to watch on Netflix? Ryan, hi, it's Kathy. I, I'm going to miss everything about you, and maybe you should come back sometime and just say hi again to all of us. Uh. Hey Ryan, this is your husband. I just wanted to congratulate you on everything you've accomplished. Um, you've truly have been an exemplar in your field and from what I can tell, one of the most decorated radio, radio personalities in the Twin Cities history. But above all the rewards and the accolades, it's your unwavering integrity in all you do and the professionalism and leadership you've demonstrated time and time again, which resonates most to me. So as you close this chapter, I'm looking forward to starting a new one, which begins with uh, being the first person that I get to see every morning and the last person I get to see every night. I love you. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> oh, good grief. No. Oh, Bonners.
Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Um, he wanted to know if I'll be um, serving him coffee in bed now that I'm home. <laughs> He's like, I, I will appreciate that. You can uh, let the dogs out. I've been doing it for 20 years. Your turn. <laughs> uh, you can bring me coffee and breakfast. I expect that. Oh, yep. it's going to be great. You're already used to getting up early, so make yeah. sure you're up just a smidge before me <laughs> and breakfast in bed, please. Fire up the Jura and away we go. Um, oh, to all the listeners who sent in those comments, thank you. You have made my life. This is awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Oh, gosh, I hate this. No. I hate this so much. I don't want to do this. Okay, don't. That's this perfect. is fun. This is fun. I want to have fun. I don't want to cry. I don't know what's happening to me. This is not me at all. I am not this person. It's just <laughs> crazy. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, <laughs> this is going to be great. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, so come let's on. go into the three song showdown. Okay. It's Friday, and that means one thing. We're in for an epic showdown. Who's gonna win? I'm gonna win this thing. Only you can decide. Oh, no, you didn't. You just watch me. It's a fight to the finish. Count to three. One, two, three. With Chris Godez and Ryan's three song showdown. Now, now everybody shut up and dance. Okay, three song showdown powered by Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Um, (laughs) The category is apparently songs about me. Yes. And I'm not playing. That'd be weird. (laughs) You're like, my favorite songs about myself are. Right, exactly. (laughs) I'm not going to do that. Um, So we we decided to have Pidge stand in and, and do what would be my set. Yes. Okay. This is an extra important three song showdown. It is. It is. We'll be settling the score for the year, um, you know, because Wes will be in here and you'll have to reset the score to zero. Yeah, we'll start over. Des and I are are tied at five wins. <laughs> We've been tied for like three years. Right. Just going back and forth and back and forth. So if Crisco wins today, well, Des and I are, are tied. If Des wins, she beats me on my last day, which oh, boy, geez. how bad would that be? Well, it's not a good look, Des. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh no! If Pidge wins for me, then then I get to walk out the winner. So uh, victory. Either way, I've I've won. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. This is positive. Seriously, <laughs> come on now. Um, okay, so you're gonna vote for your favorite songs, and I can't wait to hear what you picked. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I could guess. <laughs> Pretty you'll, close. <laughs> you'll probably be able to guess. I wonder if our listeners can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, did you get your thing figured out over there? There you go. Okay. How do you feel about your set, Pidge? I. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I just channeled you. And, and Did it come easy or was this hard? It actually came pretty easy to me. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I kind of knew exactly what I wanted to do and, and had a philosophy and went with it. Okay. No, well, you have to win for me. No pressure. Oh, yeah, geez. no pressure. I haven't been feeling the pressure at all, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Okay, let's, uh, let's play the sets. Here we go. Songs about this guy named Ryan on the radio. <laughs> the kid from Pipestone. Pipestone, Minnesota. Here we go. Set number one. <laughs> That is set number one. <laughs> okay, uh, here's set number two.
That's awesome. Set number two. Okay, one more before you vote. Oh, I can't take it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Try sitting over here. Uh, here's set number three. Captain wired in the ad water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight. In the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am Oh, wow, big finish, set number three Dang, somebody says oh. Margaritaville and Kokomo in two different sets. How is one supposed to vote? <laughs> um, I'm not a crier, but I am today. Who knew I would love a man as much as you? Oh, <laughs> that's damn, so sweet. I have no chance since you like men. <laughs> and you're married. Vaughn's a lucky guy. I'll miss you dearly. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, you broke a lot of uh, ladies' hearts in the Twin Cities when you made that announcement. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Hashtag good job, Jim. Oh, yes. yeah. The message he's been waiting for for decades. Right? Okay, so you got to you gotta vote now. Which set do you like the best? Who nailed it? And then we'll reveal who had what set. Can't wait to hear that. Okay, one, two, or three. Text your favorite one, two, or three to seven five six one seven. Uh, we'll have results in a moment, but first, I, I get to play another one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I guess I'm known for my love of Harry Styles. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't need a little watermelon sugar about now? It's KS ninety five. Hey Ryan, it's Stacy. How can I sum up in sixty seconds a twenty one plus year friendship? Oh, it'll be strange not hearing you in the morning because that's where I catch up with you. But thankfully, you're finally on Instagram. By the way, can you tell your followers to follow me because mama needs to buy some new cat food? It's Stacy S-T-A-C-I, K-S-95. Thanks. <laughs> some of my favorite memories with you involve laughing so hard that our faces hurt. Our Jack and Karen impersonations. Say that again and I'll get a bar of soap, carve it into a drink and throw it in your face. <laughs> We've seen all the big moments in each other's lives when you met Vonners, when I married Tony, when I divorced Tony, when you got poodles, and when I got cancer. When you went from naive Moon and Stacy producer to night guy to morning show big shot. And apparently you're married to a social media star now, too. You're the gay little brother I always wanted. I don't know why I'm crying because I know this is not goodbye because I will find you and we'll still see one another. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. But seriously, ask your people to follow me. I mean it. Okay. (laughs) I love you, Ryan. Oh, I love you too, Stacey. And I know they're going to follow you too. Uh, That's awesome. (laughs) At Stacey KS95. Follow her on Instagram, would you? Yes. Oh, man. I I owe this career I have to that woman and her former partner, Mr. Moon. Uh, They they, um, had a lot of applicants apply to be their producer for this big, bold show we did in the afternoon. And they picked me, the kid from Mankato, to come up and and work with them. And I learned everything I know from from being on that show and um, can't thank them enough. So that was really cool. Thank you for that message. Uh, (laughs) Let's see. We've got a three song showdown. And uh, boy, I can't imagine how to even vote. Oh, my gosh. They're all so good. There's they, really, oh. there's no losers in this. No. That's the best part because it's all songs for our pal. Yeah. So, okay. Well, uh, do we want to do a sneak preview Ooh. of uh, how the sets are shaking out? Should we? It is probably one of the closest showdowns we've ever had. No way. I, okay, I, good. I, I really think it is broken down to how do you fix, like pick one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, it's uh, songs about me. Pidge standing in for me this week. If he can deliver a win, I win for the year. Ha! Yes, that's true. We are tied, which is so typical us. <laughs> if Des wins, she will have robbed me of one final win, which would be typical Des. Yeah, hey, that's you very know, like of her. But if Crisco <laughs> wins and we tie, yeah. that's typical. Res. Team Res. Is Res back? Yeah. Oh, is Res back? We'll have gross. to find out <laughs> the results in a moment. Here we go. Set number one. <laughs> I couldn't have thought of a song faster <laughs> than DuckTales, the mm. theme song. We know all the words to this. Oh, my God. How many times have we performed this song on KS95? Yes. Uh, we heard this song earlier, but, I mean, 
I don't know a song that depicts Ryan and Vaughn in rival life on Instagram yes. more, more than this song, Beach Boys Kokomo. Thank we wrote our Crisco's hit or a miss to this song. Um, God, it was so good. Has so many special meanings. We've, again, probably performed this song more times than we could count. Uh, and truly, just thank you for being a friend. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, move on to set number two. Set two is me. <clears throat> Matchbox 20 will forever remind me of KS95. Yep. And this song just made me think of you. Look at how far we've come. Yeah, one of my favorite songs. Thank you. Oh, love it too. All right, then Jimmy Buffett. You may not drink as much as you used to, but dang it, Margaritaville <laughs> will always, always remind me of you. Yeah. And those listeners still want your margarita recipe. Oh, I know. <laughs> and then this is the first song I thought of when when we knew it was songs about you. One door is closing, but big, beautiful door is opening for you. Thank you. And I hope you dance. I will, even if it's terrible dancing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest dancing, but... <laughs> Very white. <laughs> it's better when you do so drink white. margaritas. Yes. <laughs> true it's a great song <laughs> love you ryan thank you des love you too all right let's go to set number three so this is obviously me and i'm praying i win for you because i love you great song buddy <sighs> thank you so my strategy going into this right away the wreck of the edmund fitzgerald came up <laughs> right here he called it so i called it monday great song thank you yeah and um and then after this, I just thought of, you know, what bands and, and artists does, does Ryan like? And uh, immediately thought of Goo Goo Dolls and, um, and then Fleetwood Mac. Awesome. I know you love them. So I just picked, uh, you know, we've used Goo Goo Dolls, a, a different song this week that I would like to pick. But uh, so I went with this one because this is a jam, too. And Heck then, yeah. Um, and then Go Your Own Way is also just a jam. So thank you, Pitch. Love you, you nailed it, buddy. I love you so love much. Love you, too, man. That's fantastic. Yeah, good job, Pidgey. Way to go. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get this over with. Oh, man. What, okay. uh, <laughs> I'm just dying over here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What what uh, what do we got for results? Okay. Uh, there are no losers this week. I just want to <laughs> re- reiterate that. Coming in third place is set number two. Oh, man. Oh, Des, there's still a good set? <laughs> yeah, you should have played something a little bit more upbeat. Oh. I apologize, but I still those songs remind me of you. <laughs> I love those songs. Thank you. Okay, so that means if Ryan wins oh my. or Pidge wins for Ryan, you win the whole year. Oh, man. Oh. Or the shortened year. Good yeah. luck. If I win, I say we all just go ahead and call it a tie. With 37% of the vote, Come on. set number one, Crisco! The biggest I, loser wins! Hey, Woo! I just said the big, there was no losers <laughs> to make you feel better about being in third place, and then you just crap on me. I had to. Oh, oh, I needed to mix things up a little bit. It's been a little too mushy up in here. Seriously, <laughs> right? Ew, ew, God, you're giving me the X. <laughs> <laughs> oh sick. God! This this turned really fast. <laughs> you see his teeth? <laughs> okay, just kidding. Wow! Great! Congratulations, okay. but Team Res. Yeah. Hey, we go out uh, co-champions. The yes. three of us. That's awesome. But no, yeah. we were team tied. Res. I mean, technically, we were all yeah. together yeah. Like, as a this... team. I mean, why not go out together one last time? You right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, or we could have won. No. We, well, you guys could have, but we're all team. Well, we did win together. Yeah, nobody's we talking tied. to you, ugly jacket. <laughs> it's the cutest jacket. You picked Nobody the same color it. as a me. Joke. I'm going to go ahead and play the song that I, I, you know, we we played Kokomo earlier, so yeah. I think this is a song I need to hear. I think we could all have a good moment. Ducktales, <laughs> Ducktales the theme song. <laughs> oh is that, is, okay. Yes, I think that I think we have to do that. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's do it. Here we go. Crisco, Dez, and Ryan in the morning on ninety four point five KS ninety five KSTP FM and HD one St. Paul, Minneapolis. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales. Every day that I've been making DuckTales. Tales of daring, do that and not DuckTales. The, the, the danger looks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab.
only one radio station bold enough to play the DuckTales theme at 8 in the morning. Yeah. And that's KS95 and, and Chris Godez and Ryan. I just think back to you being a kid. Yeah. Watching the same show I watched, having the same memories a lot of us had. And thinking of how you started off in Pipestone, you should be so freaking proud of yourself. Yeah. Like, truly. Not getting emotional <laughs> yeah. because it's all day. But, like, you were just a kid in Pipestone. I, I said this to you yesterday. It's hard to make it in the cities. To make it big, to do something with your life. And you got out of Pipestone. And I you did. came here and not only made something of yourself, you made the entire state of Minnesota proud. Oh, thank you. That's a bit of a reach. Don't no, it's not. Woo. It's not. Look at the love you're getting yeah. and tell me it's a reach. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crisco. Um, Ken Barlow has a forecast for 5 Eyewitness News, and boy, it looks good today. It's getting better. Yeah, we'll see some partial sun anyway. Not quite as bright and sunny as yesterday. A little breezy, too, but 45 degrees high today. Tomorrow, 44. Overnight, there could be a rain shower, by the way, but it won't ice up. Sunday, 45, chance of a shower, but most of Easter should be dry. Awesome forecast brought to you by the Spring Parade of Homes. Traffic right now, 100 southbound. We have a stalled vehicle at 394 in Cedar Lake Road on the right shoulder. Uh, and really, traffic has been light because I think people stayed home to listen to your last show, Ryan. Yeah. On KS95, <laughs> traffic is brought to you by Scandinavian Designs. Shop modern Nordic-inspired furniture and decor for your whole home at Scandinavian Designs and get your favorite spaces refreshed for the new year. Shop their Minneapolis location or shop online at ScandinavianDesigns.com. Okay, one more secret with me. Huh. Secrets will continue, as will everything else on this show, and that's the good news. Des and Crisco aren't going anywhere, and, and we've got all the fun stuff you like every morning. It's going to keep uh, going on, so that's great. But for my last secret, I think it'd be fun to do hashtag epic secrets. Yes. This was a brilliant pitch idea. He said, what if we got people's biggest, deepest secret that they've never told a soul? Yes, what a way to go out, Ryan. Right? To hear your epic secret, what is your epic secret? Maybe you're holding on to a secret from something when you were a kid in school. Or maybe you have a secret about where you work. I love insider secrets, like the truth about, you know, what really happens behind the scenes. Oh. Whatever. So interesting. Yeah. Do you have an epic secret that you're willing to share with me on my last day? Come on. The biggest, deepest secret you've never told a soul. Share it now. This is your chance. Text 75617. I can't wait to hear all of these. Oh, they're going to be so good. And you know, it popped up in your mind right away. You're like, oh, do I tell him? Do I not? Oh, yeah, you're telling us. It's your last chance to have Ryan read your secret. Yeah. (laughs) And no one will know it's you. That's the best part. And then you can sit there and go, oh, my gosh, that's my secret. It's on the radio right now. It's (sighs) out. It's out. It's out. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay. Text in your epic secret at 75617. Um, that'll be fun. Okay, secrets in 15 minutes. What's trending is next. Yes, a scare yesterday at MSP. I'm going to fill you in on that. And then who is going to be knighted? It's next on KS95. Uh. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you to the, the cranberry juice guy for making this song relevant again. Oh. Yeah, the longboard and cranberry yeah. juice drinking dude. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac on KS95. Yeah. Oh, so good. Right? That oh, voice. Yeah. Gosh, I love it. I really want cranberry <laughs> juice now. I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's 10 after 8 at KS95. Let's get to it. Chris Go, Dez, and Ryan. What's trend trending? Well, um, there's been some weird things happening on airplanes and also at airports lately. Mm-hmm. And I hate that the latest one happened yesterday at MSP as two Delta airplanes touch tips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, the wing tips. Yeah, they literally the 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 wings clipped each other. Boom. Ooh. And I mean nobody was hurt, thank God. Everybody was okay. I'm sure they weren't going fast, but um there was somebody interviewed on the news this morning that was on that flight and said the noise was crazy and it shook them and it was very scary because they weren't sure what the heck was going on. Yeah. Um, Delta Airlines uh, yesterday afterwards said they were doing everything in their power to get everyone on, you know, other flights to get them to their final destinations. They wanted us to know for sure they were going at a very low speed as the two aircrafts collided and they apologized to everybody and, you know, 
no matter what it is, it sucks when your flight is delayed, right? It's the worst. And, <laughs> and that poor gate agent that just got everybody on the plane. I know. They shut the door and they're like, oh, all right, I can go have a cigarette now. <laughs> no nope. cigs for you. Rebook every passenger. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's awful. Well, and you know somebody has a layover. And so mm-hmm. they're like, no, I have to get rebooked first because I have to get out of town. Chaos. Oh, my gosh. Right. I mean, I always think, you know, some, a lot of times you're on a vacation or you're, you want to get there. It's fun. But there are other people who... You know, are on their way to like a funeral, yeah, or something. You really have to be at. And well, did can, you see ugh. the guy um, who recently snuck on a plane by snapping a picture of somebody's boarding pass, and they, they used the picture to board the plane? Yes, I did. They actually made it. Yeah. So and don't they, flash that little uh, barcode around. No, and they saw the. Did you see the video of they actually watched him do it? Yeah. Sitting there talking, chumming it up with somebody, and it's like, oh, let me see your boarding pass. When is it that you board? It's nuts. Oh, it's crazy. Um, and then something else that might be affecting your travels, you know, because it, it even if weather is happening somewhere else, it can affect us. There have been a bunch of different storm alerts issued for California, Nevada, and Arizona. Heavy, heavy rains expected to move into the Bay Area yet again. And, I mean, it's just been so scary, all this rain and what it's doing to there. And then in the Rockies, they're they're bracing for possible several feet of snow oh. starting this weekend and early next week. And even on the East Coast, go over there, there's storms and flash flood watches right yeah. now. So there's a lot going on. And I feel like we've been just like, oh, my God, we got a tiny bit of snow. And it was really chilly. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. And now it's going to be in the 40s and then in the 50s. You know, starting next week. So let's it's crazy how much rain California is getting. I mean, I know. that state can't handle much more. It's going to just, you know, drip off into the ocean. I know. Those homes, you see the videos and the mudslides. It really is truly scary. So, yeah, we have been very lucky this season. Um, okay. I love it when somebody gets knighted. Christopher Nolan, the director. Oh, oh, great. Yes, he's going to be knighted. And his wife, producer Emma Thomas. What is it? Your knight? You, it's into the knighthood and the damehood. Okay. Okay. So that's happening for both for both of them. So deserving. I thought so too. I mean, they're saying what both of them have done and contributed to the film industry is amazing, and um, you know it comes after all the Academy Award wins and Oppenheimer. I mean, just have you seen it? Yet? Dominated. It's so long looking. <laughs> long looking. Oh my god! How many? Three hours. Oh, I mean, if watch... I broke it into three and pretended it was like a Netflix special, I could probably do that. You watch so many trashy seasons. I know, but that's where I can TV. check my brain out. This is like serious and it's real. I'll watch it at <laughs> some point. You know what, Ryan? For you, next time I'm bored, I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be never because Dez has never been bored a day in her life. <laughs> no, that's true. I always got something going on. Yeah. And then I really love this story um, about a couple who has a farm in the sticks in California. They're in the middle of nowhere. And this guy goes outside and thinks a wolf has made it onto their property. It definitely wasn't a wolf. When I got up to let out chickens yesterday morning, I turned around to see what I was pretty sure was a wolf. After my heart started beating again, it was obvious it was just a timid and scared desert dog. We're way out in the sticks, and it's not uncommon for people to come out here to dump dogs. We're not sure why he broke onto our farm specifically, but I don't think he could have chose a better one. Shy and I are both pushovers for animals who need us, and we'll do whatever we can to make them happy and comfortable. So for as long as he's with us, Balto is going to get daily brushings and a lot of love and affection. Oh, that's a lucky dog. Yeah, I love the ending to that story. All right, that's what's trending, and it's brought to you by Rival Life. <laughs> Ryan on Instagram. It's because I still can't believe you did it. Right. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the follows. Over 8,000 followers. Ooh. Yes, at Rival Life. Thank you for checking us out on Instagram. And uh, we have a special guest in the studio that I have to give a shout out to. It is the CFO of Hubbard Broadcasting. And I hope he <laughs> comes over here to this mic because I'd like to say something to him. Don't be shy, yeah. Dave. Uh, you know how shy I am. <laughs> have a seat, Dave. <laughs> Uh, Dave Bessler was the GM at KS95 when um, the big changeover happened. Mm -hmm. And this guy signed me to my first contract, somebody who had absolutely zero morning show experience, and he did it anyway. (laughs) He gave me a shot, and I especially want to thank his wife, Susan Bessler, because (laughs) if it wasn't for Susan, I don't know that I'd have this job. She listened to me while I was doing a trial run, and she kept pushing Dave. You got to give him a chance, Dave. They're like, we're interviewing people. But she was my biggest advocate. That, that is a true statement. Susan was like, 
we got to get we got to get Ryan in there. We got to get Ryan in there. And you know, if you go way back to the beginning when I first got here in 2004, Ryan was producing Moon and Stacy. Mm-hmm. And um, I, one of the first things when I got here, I'm like, "What's this Dream Doctor dude doing at night?" You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. I was kind of like, and, and by the way, unfortunately, he passed away. Uh, yep. The Dream yeah. Doctor did. Yep. But I was like, I, I don't get it for this radio station. Anyway, I write this great hot AC radio station, plays great music, and we're, we're stopping down with these weird dream doctor stories. And so Leighton and I, the PD back at the time, we, we started talking about it, and we were like, he's like, you know, Ryan's really talented. Let's put him in, in nights, right? And I remember calling into Ryan's show a bunch of times. <laughs> yes. Remember? Yes. I called in a bunch of times when Ryan was on at night, and I'm like, you're lying, Ryan. You're lying, Ryan. It's never te- nerve wracking. I, no. I sent him a text this morning. I said, "You're lying, right? You're not really leaving, right? This is this is one of those. Is he's playing? You're lying, Ryan, for a week. It's great. We've yeah. been it's open. A, it's awesome. And then uh, along the way, Greg Thunder left, uh, and um, you know, it was almost an immediate decision that let's put Ryan in mornings. Put him in mornings. I can't believe and, he did it. And really, I mean. As they say, the rest is history because, yeah. I mean, it's done, it's it's just been awesome. And quite honestly, it all came together when you two came into the morning show with him too, right? Yep. He worked with other people in here, and then all of a sudden, it was like lightning in a bottle <laughs> we put you guys together because you guys all have the different traits that make for a great morning show. I mean, a kicking rear end, I almost said the bad word. <laughs> Hit the belt button! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my wife's a big fan. My daughter, Madison, I can remember sitting at the Radiothon with Ryan and... Yeah. Madison, I, I, my my girls had a bunch of pictures with you at the state fair yep, and yep. stuff, and uh, so I'm super excited for you. Um, it's a weird day. I mean, to me too. It's like I've been here about the same amount of time you have. I started yep. in 2004, so we've both been here about 20 years, and it's weird to me. Like Ryan's a lot younger than me. I I would think that I'd be long gone before Ryan's gone, and now <laughs> Ryan's leaving, and what he's doing is is tremendous, and I'm really excited for you. Thank you, Sad man. for us. Going to miss you. And I know you got secrets to get to here. So yeah. <laughs> let me get out of the way. I love he knows our schedule. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you so All much. Right. Love you, Ryan. Thank you. Love Thanks, you too, guys. Uh, we're going to share your secrets in a moment if you haven't texted it in yet. It's epic secrets today. Your biggest, deepest secret that you've never told a soul. You have to text us right now. 75617. Oh, big hug from Dave. That's, <laughs> that's awesome, man. Um, text us your secrets. Seven five six one seven, and um, before we, before we do that, apparently we have to hear from uh, listeners as if this isn't hard enough. All right, okay. Wow, Ryan, almost twenty one years on the air. That's amazing. I remember moving back to the Twin Cities after college around the time you started at the station, and one of my favorite things was your lion, Ryan, when you were on night. I think I'll probably miss all of your goofy impersonations, whether it's. You know, your curb your enthusiasm or your, you know, stereotypical gay man voice or that that German that comes out every so often. I wish you the best in the rest of your endeavors and uh, you'll be truly missed. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Let's uh, find out what the next song is. Oh, geez. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, man. Uh, this song will always be special to me because it was the last song Moon played on KS95. Yep. And when we announced that Moon passed away in January, we played it for him. But we're going to do it one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Can't hear that song and not think of uh, Mooner, huh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That was his anthem. Boy, a oh boy. Um, oh, what a day it's been. And then I look outside and we were creeped out this morning. <laughs> Like, like, what's happening? There there were uh, people from the building, our building services team, who uh, were out in front. I, I, I don't know what they were doing. They were measuring. Uh, they were crawling around in front of the windows, in front of the studio. So and, weird. And we thought, oh, they're chasing turkeys away because we've had these turkeys mm-hmm. in our front yard here at, at KS95. Well, then it just dawns on us. We are so, like, not with it. To look outside. And they've erected a little <laughs> billboard of Chris Godes and Ryan. <laughs> oh, God, stop it. Okay. I love that picture. It of says, us, good luck, way. Ryan, your friends in building services. And it's our um, it's our first talent photo shoot. <laughs> it's our very first one. And they've uh, erected it up on the, on the front yard in front of the studio window. So that's a really, really cool. Uh, thank you, guys. They um, are wonderful people that work here. 
at Hubbard. So keep <laughs> things working and yeah. moving along here. We we appreciate them very much. And God, we're just babies there. I aren't know. We? I can't believe it. Man. I'll share a photo of this <laughs> uh, at Rival Life if you want to see it. And then and then to make it even worse, this is hard enough the way it is. Then Sorry. surprise, Better. look who shows up. <laughs> Hello, Vonners. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're killing me, guys. So oh. who arranged this? How did this happen? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give up all my uh, my trade secrets here, but no, Des uh, uh, sent me a text here a couple days ago oh. and asked if I would uh, mind stopping by this morning. So. Well, it's funny because I asked him yesterday. I said, so what does your day look like? Are you going to be able to listen? He's like, I have meetings. I've got this. Yes, he good made job. Up, he made up some horrible story about some dreadful meeting you were involved in. <laughs> like, what was it? Like, you made up some story. Wait, well, that's later. No, that's, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like infection, an infectious disease oh, meeting or yeah. something. I'm oh, like, oh, good God. I, oh, love I was like, why well, didn't say horrible? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my no. profession, Ryan. Don't be weird. But, uh. but we know that this is a hard day. You know, it's a big day for you. But it also is a special day. And, you know, we want you to be surrounded by everybody who loves you. And Vaughn is number one on that list. So yeah. we wanted him to be here. That's oh. awesome. He's never seen me do this. No. So. He's never uh, been a part of a morning show. Why don't you slide on over here and we'll do this together? This will be fun. Aww. Let's do uh, let's do secrets. Time for Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I don't care if the world knows what my secrets are. Secrets, secrets. Okay, so epic secrets is what we wanted. Your biggest, deepest secret that you've never told a soul. I have a crush on a guy half my age, and and Dez will be the first one to tell you. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Right? It works out great. Uh, 40 years ago, when I lived in North Dakota, my friend, co-worker, and I worked at Taco John's, and we funded our first trip to the cities by not ringing up orders. We pocketed the money instead. Oh, my oh, gosh. Potato. Oh, no. <laughs> oh wow. I love that you shared that. That's a big one. Naughty. Holy. I mean, think about it. Right now, you said they're going, it's out. It's out there. Yeah. I don't feel guilt. Delete I, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hooked up with my 15-year younger coworker. Again, Des is going to give you a high five on that. Yeah, I'm saying that's where it's at. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I was really bad at geography, and the teacher accidentally gave me a different girl's test because we had the same name, and even though I went by my nickname, um, her full name and I never told anyone because I really needed the 100% grade. Oh, oh, oh boy. You stole her homework. You hate that. You're like, oh, I'm the dumb Jenny. Yeah. I got the, the smart Jenny's test. I'm keeping it. Uh, I love how people have different levels of epic secrets. Okay. Some people steal from Taco John's. <laughs> Here we go. I was the one who stole the bubble gum from Jesse's desk in second grade. <gasps> oh, I knew no. It. No. Is it your sister? I bet. Could it be Jesse, your sister? And that <gasps> explains why she spent the better part of 65 years being crabby. <laughs> 65 years. She has been nothing but crabby. For, I'm kidding, Jesse. Oh, oh man. All up. I love that one. Do you think it's maybe the puzzle later? Oh, I bet. I just have to tell you, I was the one who stole the gum. I did it. How brave of you. Yeah, right. To come out and say that. I work at payroll, and I know how to forge checks. I've done it a handful of times. <gasps> Naughty. But have you done it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm five weeks pregnant, and I've taken a nap at work every day this week. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. I got out of the Army for a reason other than what people think. Uh-oh. That's a big one. Yeah. My husband likes to mimic various accents, just like a certain KS95 personality. <laughs> I'll never tell him Ryan's voices are a thousand times better. <laughs> it's a talent that you have. Oh, my God. Hashtag <laughs> epic secret. That's funny. I'm a female and I have chest hair. Oh. Yikes, they yep. say. Hashtag well, yikes. You can laser anything. Yep. <laughs> Oh, just God. saying. Oh, you say it like you have hair everywhere. You can laser you can. anything. It's just a fact. Um, everybody in my family thinks I'm a lesbian, but I'm actually polyamorous. So take that. Yeah. I sleep with all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the one. Right. My first kiss was with my twin sister, never Frenched, and wanted to see how it felt. We were both grossed out. <laughs> yeah, I could see that being you a little You French <laughs> kiss your twin sister. Thank oh. you for sharing your epic secret. That can't be easy to admit. No, I. that's something you buried deep. <laughs> right? It never added the twin sister part, but good for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? If you're a fan of you, who better to kiss than someone who looks just like you? True. It's like you're kissing the mirror. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Which yeah. is what we did as kids. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see here. My niece does not know her dad isn't her bio dad. 
biggest family secret, and she's the only one who doesn't know. It kills me not to tell her. Man, I wonder if the gum person is sitting there going, boy, I did not expect this level of secrets this morning. How about this one? <laughs> Last one. I still dream about my first love that turned into an affair years later. I ended with a 5150 lockup for him. Oh. What? When I finally wised up and broke things off. Still the hottest lust I've ever felt in the most adventurous unicorn sessions ever. Dang. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> he is okay. Yeah, he's locked up, but boy. Yeah. I Holy. Why. God. I wish you'd lock me up one more time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is there a visitation? Or? Those secrets crushed. Epic. Epic. Thank you for that. Uh, T minus one hour to go. Really? We're going to wrap it up. And why is this going by so fast? I, I want know. it to go really slow and just go for the weekend and then into next week. <laughs> <laughs> then into next year. People have said, oh, gosh, this would be the most elaborate April Fool's prank ever. Oh, oh. my God. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you? I can't imagine. I couldn't fake this amount of emotion uh, no. for a prank. If you're here on Monday and you tell us you got us, I'm walking out of the building forever. <laughs> Same. Forever. I'm leaving forever. Oh, man. All right. We've got more fun stuff, and I'm joined by my husband in studio. This is the best. Good morning. Good. I love it. <laughs> okay. KS95. We'll be right back. After a 20-year career at KS95, seven of them with the current morning show, Ryan is hanging up his headphones. Do with your mouth closed. I don't need to see or hear what you're eating. Join us all week as we relive the good times of Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. Did you hear that? Crisco, Dez, and Ryan. This is a thrilling moment in all of our lives. KS95. Hey, I'm Rachel, the founder and executive director at The Bond Between, formerly Secondhand Hounds. I have had the pleasure of working with Ryan for years, most notably on the Bucks for Babe fundraiser in memory of Crisco's beloved pup, Babe. I will never forget Ryan cold calling me with the plan he had hatched to surprise Crisco by saving shelter dogs in memory of Sweet Babe. He was excited to raise a few thousand dollars for us, and to date, we have raised almost $200,000, saving literally thousands of lives. But that's who Ryan is, a dreamer, a believer, and a doer. We will miss his wit, his love for the KS95 community, and his passion for nonprofits. Thank you for so many amazing years, Ryan. Oh, Rachel, thank you for taking my call. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, there's this radio guy and it's urgent. What's going on? We don't get urgent calls like this, but I'm like, this has to happen. Yep. Are we, are we going to do this? Can we do this? And everything was, yes, we can. Yes, we can. We're going to do this. Yep. And we did. <laughs> Thank you to the listeners who supported oh. and uh, funded Bucks for Babe. That's awesome. Uh, it's 838. Ken Barlow with uh, One Final Forecast. Hey, Ken. One Final Forecast. Yeah. Aww. So I have to say that from the moment I met you in the cafeteria. Yeah. We, we knew who each other was. Or, right. But we didn't know how to act. I didn't know how to act when I saw you. So I'm like, oh, my God, I listened to him. Because <laughs> I was doing nice at the time. Yes, you were. That's right. I said, I, I can't look him in the eye. <laughs> it's oh. weird. <laughs> it's strange. Oh, and then we become friends through it all. That's then awesome. We're friends, yeah. And you shoot me the side eye. I just posted on Facebook a, a goodbye that you'll love. <laughs> Or did you really? I did, yeah. Cool, thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got sunshine out there, guys. Mixing with clouds. Temps around 45. Tonight, maybe a shower. Tomorrow, 45 again with partial sun. Easter, mostly dry in 44. It has been awesome working with you, man. Thank you so you much. too. And Thanks. I'm so glad that you're sticking around because the Twin <gasps> Cities needs Ken Barlow. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Can't get rid of me. I'm a whatever. cockroach. I'll be here with Cher. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. All right. Um, I, I was told that uh, there's another surprise. There it's, is. It's not Vaughn. Because Vaughn being here is shocking to me. Yes, I'm so glad he kept it yeah. secret. I'm so proud of him. That's but no, amazing. we've got somebody else who said, make some time for us this morning. And, and I get to do that, don't you I? Do. I get yeah, to you say, do. Make some time for us. You're oh. our boss, <laughs> Ryan, Dan Seaman. Um, hey, hey, listen. So, people know that you and I spent a lot of time together in my office. Yep. We used to go to lunch all the time. Yep. What people don't know is that we talk about ten percent about radio <laughs> and ninety percent about travel. Yeah. Like, Ryan is my travel guru. I have lived vicariously through Ryan for as long as I've known you. I've helped Dan get better credit cards to get better points. That is very true. <laughs> well, he's admonished me many times for my sloppy 
uh, financial travel habits. That's yeah. very true. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and we all know you cannot travel. And Vaughn, I'm so glad you're here because uh, this, this is going to impact you too. I, <laughs> uh, you cannot travel without the clipboard of fun. Yeah, right. But that is the key to it. So, as a little going away, you say I wrapped it very nicely. It's so oh, and a beautiful cub sack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the best. Exactly. See, you could have said, oh, what a beautiful so bag. We update you with many colored, updated oh, clipboards yes. for the clipboard of fun, so you have that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So here you go. You're set for because you're going to travel a lot, yeah. so you need a lot of clipboards we do. now. We do. Um, but more importantly, on one clipboard is uh, will be the... Uh, a start to your next travel adventure. So thank you. Oh, wow. A little parting gift from Ginny Hubbard, Dave Bessler, myself, and everybody at Hubbard Radio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. Appreciate it. Wow. We are excited. <laughs> that's that's really awesome. Thank you, Dan. Uh, very, very cool. What oh. do you think? Are those your favorite colors, Vaughn? <laughs> These are my favorite colors. They're, they're the rainbow color. <laughs> <laughs> He had a theme, the rainbow theme, right? Yeah. Very, very purposeful, but thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, what a day it's been, um, and it continues. My goodness. We man, did. oh, man. Oh, holy, You're guys. so loved, Ryan. I am tapped out. This is this is uh, too much. Well, hey. you've still got about 45 minutes to go, so oh. don't you dare tap out yet. <laughs> Including your last words yeah. ever on KS95, so you can't be tapped out yet, buddy. Oh, man. What do you, what do you say? I mean, seriously, I don't know what more to say. It is, uh, it has been a week. I'll tell you that, yeah. an incredible week. Um, I don't know what to play for my last song either. You know, got to think about that too. Yep. Whew, yeah. Oh, Rizzy. Somebody said uh, they are stuck in the Tampa airport. Uh, their flight's delayed, but they don't even care because they're streaming <laughs> and listening to the last show. So that's pretty awesome. It, it's <laughs> it's amazing how many people are streaming us from. All over the place. How many people got up early this morning on their day off? People who are homesick and I listening. No, someone said they had the flu and they don't care. They still set their alarm and they are not missing your last day. Someone's streaming us from Greece. What time is it in Greece? Oh man, like three, currently. four in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're probably having like sangria right now and I having hope so. a great time. Yeah. <laughs> My sister has listened since four a.m. and she's been up with Grayson all morning. Oh, so that's amazing. And, uh, and then I'm joined by my husband in studio. So to have Vaughn here on my last day is just the best. Um, we need to be done with all this. So um, if there's a, a last-minute text you want to send or a call, if you want to uh, get on the air real quick, we'll do that. Um, we can if, if there's a request for something they want us to play. Yes, let us know. You know, if there's something that you're like, oh, I was hoping I'd hear this or play this, you know, maybe we can uh, uh, find that real quick. And, and we'll do that as we as we wrap this up, you guys. I, we got to finish well, this one so you can start your new one. I know, but <laughs> I, it feels so surreal. Like, I... I I don't want it to be real. I know. But here we are. Here we are. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right yep. back. We're going to be done with this because people have a life. It's Good Friday. It's Easter weekend. We got stuff to do. All right. We're going to finish it on KS95. It's time to turn to another chapter in the life of Ryan. So we're reliving the laughs and the tears. I call falafels falafels just to bother <laughs> Vaughn. And he's like, it's a falafel. And I'm like, uh, no, it's a falafel. A falafel. As we celebrate Ryan seven years with Crisco, Dez, and Ryan at 20 with KS95. Crisco, Dez, and Ryan in the morning. On 94.5. KS95. KSTP FM and HD1. St. Paul, Minneapolis. Wow, that is the most Harry Styles ever played <laughs> in the morning on KS95. <laughs> I love, what is that, our third, fourth Harry song? That's a record. <laughs> uh, thank you to Matt for scheduling all of these uh, really awesome songs for me on my last day. That's really cool. Uh, Ryan, I am typing this through tears. I have been listening to you since you started. And I've enjoyed every minute. Uh, thank you for everything you've given all of us. Your humor, your generosity, and compassion. There's no one else like you. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, good luck, Ryan. I'll miss you so much. You've brightened many of my days. Um, this really sucks. My drive to work is never going to be the same. Uh, no, it's going to be different, and uh, and that's that's a good thing. And it's going to be a fun, new, different, and it's time for a change. So, I mean, come on. I've been here long enough. <laughs> time to move on. Uh, oh we've got some people calling, trying to get through. Uh, Nico is from St. Paul. Hi, Nico. Hey, Ryan. What's going on? Well, I know I'm not like all the callers that have been listening for like 21 years, but I've been listening since, let's see, 2020 with my 
handheld radio. I'm like the only kid I know <laughs> that really listens since six o'clock in the morning. Like I wake up just at six to listen to you guys. Oh and wow! Thank you. You guys. Yeah, and you guys are my motive to wake up in the morning and get ready to go to school. I love listening to all the games, and Chris goes hit and, hit or miss, and I'm really gonna miss you guys, oh. Miss Ryan. And you guys. Thank you, Nico. Hey, the good news, Crisco and Dez aren't going anywhere, and I think you're going to yeah. really like Wes. Yeah, I'm really going to like Wes. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be fun. No, I'm excited for him, too. He's he's walking into a great job. Thank you for listening on your handheld radio. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, man. <laughs> is. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Vic on the phone from App- Apple Valley. Is this <laughs> Is this the Vic I know? Well, I just called to talk to Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's here, actually, so this is perfect. Yeah, he can hear you. Did I miss the secret segment? Because I, I have one. <laughs> okay, what's your secret? Well, my secret is post uh, post KS95, I would love to sit in my onesie with you <laughs> and binge watch season 12 of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes! Can we make a date? That's a date, man. It is on. Vic is who got me into Curb, and <laughs> yep. we are doing that. Yes, and we're going to the cabin. We're going to break in that new pontoon you got. I'm excited, Vic. Ryan, as you know, I'm calling on behalf of my wife, Lisa, who is too shy or hungover to call in. So I hope you can appreciate that, that she is the puppet master, and um, and I'm just calling on her behalf. And, Ryan, we're so proud of you, so happy for you. Uh, this is just one chapter closing. Uh, you're moving on to the next chapter. You've got big things ahead of you, and, and we couldn't be happier for you. Thank you. It means a lot. You have been uh, such great friends to Vaughn and I, and uh, I'll see you on Easter, okay? Love you guys. Take care. All right. Love you too, man. Thanks. That's really awesome. How special. Um, We have JJ on the phone from St. Cloud. Hi, JJ. Hey. What's going on? JJ McKay from St. Cloud, the old radio guy that did nothing but the weather and loved always listening to the radio. Oh, awesome. (laughs) But it's important to say, you know, after being in the radio as long as you have, being on the radio as long as you have, and I having the short term and being able to do the shows out in the, you know, with all the drunks every day, but <laughs> I can tell you right now, Ryan, I am very impressed and very blessed to have you as long as we have, you know, from another brother, from a different mother in, in this business, you have been a huge goal that everybody was wanting in the radio business and you have completely scored it. I mean, a thousand percent. And it's amazing that you've been able to do this as long as you have being almost a hundred years old, right? right? I know <laughs> so two new hips to back it up. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Thank you, JJ. I appreciate the phone oh. call. That's really, really cool. Um, we have Shelly on the phone from North St. Paul. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Good morning, Ryan. And I'm so glad Vaughn could be there. That's amazing. Right, <laughs> right here. He's sitting right beside me. I know he's super nice. I've met him. So, <laughs> and I also work in healthcare. Um, I just wanted to, this relates back to you, Ryan, but I wanted to give a shout out to my brother, Mike. He's a social worker up in St. Cloud, and he went through school with four kids. And when he's in graduate school, I told him about the morning show, and he has been listening ever since. I've been a listener since 2001, but my brother and I listen together. Um, we text back and forth, like, did they, did Ryan read your regret me not? Or what did you think of love them or list them? Um, or, you know, what it does say. So we're always, it's really been a fun, I mean, I love my brother, but it's been a fun bond between us. And I think one of his dream comes true is he did meet you all. We were at Keg and Case for the band Lawrence. Yes. Yes. And he was over the moon to meet all four of you and get a photo. And, you know, he drove down from St. Cloud, took a day off work, and we just had such an awesome day. So um, I love listening with my brother, Mike. We love you, Ryan. Like everyone said, we're going to miss you. Thank you, Shelly. We miss you, Vaughn. Appreciate OG that. And Gats, Gats, <laughs> all the best. Oh, and- thank you. Well, we're not going anywhere. You can find us on Instagram. I hope you follow us at Riva Life, R-Y-V-A Life, and we'll uh, we'll be on there, okay? We'll be there. Best wishes, Ryan. Take Thanks, care. Shelly. Yep, you too. Take care. <gasps> She's so sweet. She is. <sighs> all the listeners of this station are sweet. Oh, oh, yeah, they're God. awesome. Um, we're going to give Des and Crisco a chance to say what they'd like to say, and then um, I'll wrap this up, and we will move on and be done, okay? Put okay. this thing to bed. <laughs> um, I, I struggled trying to think of the perfect song to say goodbye, and so I kind of have two songs. Okay. And so um, I'll, I'll save one here in a moment, but I'd like to play this one because, boy, does this sum up how I felt <laughs> about 
being able to do this job every day and um, the life I've been able to live because of our listeners who tune in every day and make this thing work. And so um, this one's for you. Oh, I wish you could smell what I smell right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a classic moon bit. <laughs> what are you smelling? What smell are you smelling? <laughs> <laughs> I smell Monte Carlo chicken wings. I mm. cannot believe this. There is, in front of the studio, there is a lobby full of people <laughs> who, by the way, don't have to be here on Friday. They don't come in on Fridays, oh. and our salespeople came in today to say goodbye, and they're throwing a big breakfast uh, brunch for me. Yep. You got the Monte Carlo chicken wings? They're not even open yet. Oh, I I couldn't give a big enough shout out to Denise, uh, who I believe runs things at the Monte Carlo. Her and I were on the phone one day last week. For the better part of ooh, eight hours. <laughs> yes, so, on and off and on and off. <laughs> I'm getting wow. phone calls, getting different things. They couldn't open the kitchen. How could they possibly open the kitchen four hours early? And I said, you know what? For our friend Ryan. Yeah. Yep. And the fact that we have never been connected more than Monte Carlo. <laughs> I have a picture, a gift I got inside the Monte Carlo of the Monte Carlo from Ryan. A Michael Beer hour. Oh, How that's he does so cool. the legacy spots in, in town. Yep. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, thank you guys. And my favorite donuts from um, uh, from Egan. That's yep. awesome. Puffy cream donuts. And yeah, this is incredible. Tried to think of all your favorite things. Okay. I know you guys want to say <clears throat> something, so I'll just sit here quietly. All right, I'm going to start because I know I can't go after Crisco. All right. You can do hard things. <laughs> when I first met you, Ryan, you had big dreams and frosted tips. Yes, I did. <laughs> and it's been amazing to sit in the front row and watch all those big dreams come true. You have made it so fun to get up this early every single day because it can suck <laughs> yeah. waking up so early. Yep. But you made it fun. And you have made this look effortless. And that's kind of like one of the hardest parts about watching you leave and walk away is because you are so damn good at this job. Thank you for being patient with me when I moved from middays and had no idea what I was doing. Thank you for picking me to sit next to you for the past almost eight years. Thanks for choosing me. You've taught me so much about radio. You've taught me even more about life. You taught me things I never knew I needed to know. Right. (laughs) Now, I will, I'll always know them. You've changed my life. You've truly made me a better person. I can't thank you enough. My entire adult life has been spent with you. We grew up here at KS95. I started in 2001. I was the baby of the station. You started a couple years later. And we, we grew up together. I watched you, like, bloom into this amazing... I mean, you were always fun. You were always funny. But just this just incredible person who has made such a difference in this community, has made such a difference in this world, and has made such a difference in my life. I'm not saying every single day has been perfect or a fairy tale, and we're like siblings, and we fight. But, man, we've been through ups. We've been through downs. But we got through it all together. I'm going to miss sitting next to you every single day. I can say that I worked with the best. We've been such a great team. And I'm really going to miss annoying you in the mornings. (laughs) Say good morning. Yeah. Welcome to work. It's going to be a great day. You know I hate change. But I've realized over the past 20 plus years with you that we truly do have a, a soul connection. Yeah. And no matter where you are... I'll love you from afar. I'll be cheering you on from afar. I hate change, but I'm going to try to go with the flow. I will not go rogue, Ryan. I won't go rogue. (laughs) Okay, good. I can't imagine doing this show without you, but the show must go on. Yes, it does. And I will miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. I'd wish you luck, but you don't need it. You don't. It's going to be an amazing life. Thank you for taking a chance on me. Ooh, I was doing great all the way up until right now and showing me how it's done. Thank you for believing in me more than anybody in this business, for being our fearless leader for seven and a half years, for standing up for us when we felt like we couldn't in a business that is so easy to get stepped on. Thank you for always believing I was capable of more than I gave myself credit for. Thank you for not letting me take the easy road. Thank you for being an amazing coworker, but not just that, a bonus brother and being my family. Thank you for helping me heal my broken heart when I lost babe. 
and stepping in to create magic with Bucks for Babe among just a handful of things that you've done for this station. Thank you for sharing in some of the greatest belly laughs I have ever had in my entire life. Thanks for being my buddy to quote Austin Powers and Ron Burgundy until we look like we're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely crazy. <laughs> Thanks for putting on full skits in the Keys parking lot and slapping me for dramatic effect so that everybody there thought we were crazy. And thank you for being one of my biggest supporters for giving me the best years in radio I could ever ask for. Thank you for loving this emotional wreck of a human being. And life is tough sometimes, but you were always there for me. And I know you'll always be there for me. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being the best human I know. And thank you. There will never be another like you, and the only way I could end this is in some sort of cartoon form. <laughs> this is a quote from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> if you live to be a hundred, I hope I live to be a hundred minus one day so that I never have to live a day without you. Oh, jeez. Okay, we can't invoke Winnie the Pooh. That's off limits. You know that. I even took my pants off for it. <laughs> I know. For <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. It's offensive. Oh. It's so offensive. <laughs> so offensive. Thank you, buddy. Love you, too. Love you, buddy. And um, I will wrap up by saying, first of all, Ryan, thank you for an endless amount of reasons, whether it's for taking someone like me, someone who had never produced anything, came into this job not having a clue what I was doing and, and having the most unbelievable patience for me and undying support and so much advice and wisdom that God knows I needed. <laughs> and uh, I hope that never stops. I don't think it ever will. We say all the time that we're just a group of, of four goof-offs that, that get to come into this studio every morning, laugh together, and do a dumb little radio show. While that's true in, in some ways, this past week has, has made me realize it's so much more than that. You have been our fearless leader, and you have done so much for us and our entire community. You have fed thousands of people in need and made sure they don't have to go to bed hungry, made sure they had their own Thanksgiving and were able to eat your favorite meal with you. Thank you for that. You've saved thousands of animals starting Bucks for Babes. Thank you for that. And the leader of this dumb little show, you, <laughs> Ryan, you have helped fight for a cure for cancer. Ryan, you are so much more than a radio DJ. Think about that. You have helped fight for a cure for cancer. You have raised millions of dollars in the fight. Over $20 million. You... The now legendary voice from Pipestone, Minnesota, <laughs> have saved many, many lives. So thank you for that. Thanks, Pitch. And a huge thank you to Vaughn. Vaughn, none of this would be possible without you. And Ryan lets us know that. <laughs> without your incredible selflessness, supporting and sharing Ryan with us for two decades. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited that now you get him all to yourself. Lucky. For the rest of your life. <laughs> thank you. I wish you guys the best. I will miss the hell out of you you know that yeah but i love you you're my biggest role model i appreciate you for changing my life vaughn i appreciate you i love you and your thighs of course the best legs right yeah. yes and just we all will miss you and, and just want to say thank you thanks pidge all right we're gonna finish this and be done because my goodness uh what a day it's been thank you uh we'll wrap things up next after seven years of Chris Godez and Ryan at 20 with KS95, Ryan is calling it quits. This is amazing. I can't believe they've allowed this to go on this long. <laughs> Join us as we say bye to the Ryan of Chris Godez and Ryan. Chris Go. Living outside of our house in his Pontiac Aztec. Dez. She's a seductress. She's a siren. And Ryan. The kid is sick in the head. KS95. Hmm. Well, here we go. How do you wrap up a 20-year career at KS95? What do you do? What are you supposed to say? I have literally run this through my head at least a dozen times. And there is only one person I could call that has always given me solid advice for my entire radio career. And I actually went to grab the phone yesterday to place that call. And for a moment, I actually forgot that he's already gone. I tried to call Moon. Big Daddy Rabbit, but I can't call him for advice anymore. And so uh, I was left to figure this out on my own. But I do want to take a moment to thank Moon for getting me this far at KS95. I took what I learned in the afternoon, and I did my version of the Moon and Stacy show at night. And then I brought that to the morning show. Leighton Peck 
my former program director and my mentor. He rolled the dice on me and he led a 29 year old guy with zero radio <laughs> experience uh, do his morning show. Lead the most important show in his station with over 1.2 million followers. A guy with zero experience. <laughs> He took a huge risk, but he never gave up on me, and I owe my career to that man. I also want to thank our GM, Dan Seaman, for all of his support over the years. I want you to know that Dan is the reason that I was able to come out on the radio because he made sure that I knew that I had the full support of the company and it was going to be okay. In fact, when Vaughn and I secretly eloped on Maui back in 2018, Dan was the very first person to congratulate us, and he made sure to buy our first meal as a married couple <laughs> at the best restaurant on the island. Shout out to Mama's Fish House. <laughs> he has been a great champion of mine, and he has been so good to me during this final phase of my time here, so I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Dan. I have been love-bombed by all of you listeners for the past 10 days. You have helped this guy from Pipestone know what it feels like to be loved and completely accepted by his community. I am so incredibly proud to be a Minnesotan, and no matter where Vaughn and I land, Minnesota will always be home. I am Minnesotan in my heart, and I am proud to be one of you. Devin, my sweet pidge. I knew that I love that guy the moment I met him. How could you not? He's wildly funny. He's unpredictable. He's ridiculous. He's talented and he's pure love. A heart of gold without a bad bone in his body. He's always got your back and he works hard to help us look good every day. I have loved getting to know you and having you on this show has been a blast. Des, my soul sister, my much older radio partner. <laughs> I can say this. There is no better person to do a morning show than the always sunny Des. Her positivity and her upbeat attitude are exactly what people need on the darkest of days, even me. In over 20 years of knowing Des, she has never had a bad day. And if she has, she's never shown it. Even when I'm grumpy <laughs> and tired, Des eventually even wears me down to bring back my smile. <laughs> Her infectious laugh, her ability to laugh at herself, and her eternal optimism is what I'll miss most. She has been a friend till the end, and I am so glad the Twin Cities will continue to get many more good mornings <laughs> from Des for a long time to come because those kids are expensive, and we all know Des isn't going anywhere. No, 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 no. So expensive. Crisco, the big guy, my brother from another mother, I am just so proud of you. You have been through so much, and you continue to prove people wrong with your tenacity and your sheer will. I am so impressed by your patience, your ability to find laughter in every aspect of life, your wit, your willingness to listen, and your heart. Anybody would be lucky to call Crisco a friend, and I'm one of them. Thank you for sharing the microphone with me to create some of the funniest moments for our listeners. I'll say this. Every single show Crisco has ever been on is better because he was on it, including this one. And last but certainly not least, I have to thank one listener in particular because this person has followed me from afternoons to nights to mornings and has listened to every single podcast I have ever recorded. And there have been a lot of them. <laughs> I have heard so much of myself just today that I can't even imagine. But through it all, he has remained my number one most loyal fan and my best friend. I could not do this job every single day if it weren't for my lovely husband, Vaughn. He gives me reason to get up in the morning and do this every day. I find it fascinating that after 20 years, he is still the only person I want to be around 24-7. He has given me a life, and I am eternally grateful. I love him more than he will ever know. And as Vaughn and I let go of the third wheel in our marriage, the KS95 Morning Show, we sat and listened to so many different songs last night to find the perfect one to play. But here's the thing. There isn't a perfect one because you can never please, you know, everybody, as we know. <laughs> right. And so I'll say goodbye to the station. I will say goodbye to the station that has been so good to me. With a song from the band that I love most. Oh, come on. I can do this. And maybe whenever you hear the Goo Goo Dolls, you'll think of me. And think of the time that we spent together on the Big 95. And so for the last time, this is Chris Godez and Ryan on KS95. Thank you, Twin Cities. Mm -hmm.